All right, guys. Welcome back to Guilty Gaming. And tonight we're starting a new game. The Weekend in Two. Ooh, look at that dragon. New armies. Ooh, lizard people. We got Dragonborn in this game? What is that? Some dude and or chick hanging out in the wheat fields. They've seen Gladiator too many times. Got more of those lizard people. A windmill? Joan of Arc? Dude with a stick? Some place on fire? Fire arrows? They may have started it. <laughs> Lots of characters. Oh, one of those looked familiar. Is that Lucia? From part two? Someone said she was like the mom of one of the main characters in this one, right? Ooh, I'm excited. All right, so I've, we're actually playing on the console this time. I've got the real game popped in there and I have the actual physical manual that came with the game that I'm taking a look at real quick. So I'm not going to have my save data to load in because, you know, different console and all that. But let's see what we got here. Map and history. This is the land where we were born. Grassland. All right. Yeah, we're, we're probably going to hear about all that in the game. We got our three main characters, Godot, Hugo, and Chris. Okay, they look awesome. 108 stars, of course. Trinity Sight System. We all see things differently. The main story can be played by choosing the viewpoint of Hugo, Chris, or Godot. The Trinity Sight System offers multiple viewpoints of one story. At the TSS screen, just select the main character. I wonder if, like, how different the story is depending on the order you do it in. So, one of our viewers um, came to me. Uh, well, you know, he, he, he hopped into my DMs. And told me what order he thinks I should do um, the different chapters of the game. Because you get to choose which character to control, right? Um, I've also gotten more advice on this. And no one agrees. <laughs> so it's like, okay. <laughs> I don't know who to believe. And we have moved on to the PlayStation 2, so there's all kinds of, of new stuff. All right, so bad status types. We have um, poison. That's that's re recognizable. Combat stifled. So that's just you're down. That's, that's you're at zero HP. Unbalanced or stunned. We know that one. Paralyzed. Bullseye. Bullseye makes you the target of enemy attacks. Unfriendly, unable to participate in combination attacks. Silent, unable to use magic. Teleported, caused by blinking magic. No action possible cannot be reversed during battle. Asleep, put you to sleep, sure. Slowed, actions take longer to complete. Good status types, berserk. Last an unspecified number of turns. Offensive capability raised by 50%. Boost, last three turns, offensive cap capability is doubled. Invincible, invincible to enemy attack, but action is impossible. Interesting. Alert, magical offensive capability raised by 50%, but with a 20% chance of backfiring. Oh, wow. Backfiring, really? All right, most of those are recognizable. Um, blinking mirror, still a thing. Okay. With the same symbols in towns for taverns, inns, armor shops, runes. Looks like they're called rune sages now. Blacksmiths, appraisers, trade shops make a return. Ugh. Education center, training center. That's new. It's a book and like a combat symbol. There's some kind of training that you can take. And lottery ticket seller. That's new. Interesting. Teleporting to places you've been before is going to be a thing at some point in the guide. Um, combat looks about the same. Okay, we have rune, we have combination attack. We also have something called chanting for magic that requires two or more turns to cast. That's new. Hey, Rufus, welcome back to the stream. I'm just looking through the manual. I, I it's not on the stream because I literally, I literally have the physical manual. 
I'm just reading through it real quick. Kind of scanning it for new stuff. Duels are still going to be a thing. The rune magic chart. All right, so it shows us some of our runes. Fire rune. With the same abilities as we're used to. Lightning rune. Lightning rune has different abilities this time. Interesting. The lightning rune's been changed. Water rune. Level two of water rune changed. Kindness drops, kindness rain, and silent lake make a return. But the um magic defense ability that we we're using all the time has been replaced by breath of ice. That's that's different. Uh wind rune. Shredding has been upgraded from level two to level three. And it's been deep has been it's gotten a nerf to its damage too. <laughs> that shredding was too good apparently. Um Fair enough. Earth rune. Pale gate rune. Interesting. So instead of the blue gate, we have the pale gate. It has open gate, royal passage, pale palace, and empty world. It's still it's the blue gate rune. It's the same rune. Um The numbers have changed a little bit, but it's basically the same thing. Uh blinking rune, shield rune. Okay, so battle oath, great blessing. The shield rune is like the, the minor version of our true rune from part two. The jonglier rune? The what? A unique rune that uses the user's chanting and power special benefits for allies. It's like a bard rune. That's cool. The sword of rage rune. Fire addition to weapon attacks raises fire resistance. Interesting. Sword of thunder rune, sword of cyclone rune. So these are like embed runes maybe for like your weapons for elements and then there's a skills chart so skills i think is a new thing they added in um in this one it's like a whole and that's probably what those training centers are for so there's attack skills defense skills magic skills jungler skills support skills okay interesting all right, well, you know, we'll figure it out as we go. Let's get into the game, huh? Enough watching this cutscene. What in the world is that? That's the dragon. Okay. Oh, my, you know, I was I was reading so long, my controller turned off. <laughs> so we're actually playing on my uh, PlayStation 3 for this game. I've got the the old disc popped in there, and we're um. Let me make sure we have a uh, PS2. Yeah, the stream card. The stream card should be good. All right. Let's get to it. A weekend in three. I'm excited. <laughs> so, yeah, like w one of our our viewers um, sent me a message basically trying to give me advice as to what order I should do the chapters. Like, should I do Hugo, Chris, Godot first, whatever? Um. And I've also got some other advice about the same thing and they don't agree with each other. <laughs> so I've got conflicting advice on that one. Um, I don't think it overly matters as far as like getting the 108 stars. I think the idea is that there's a certain order that will like um, reduce um, like spoilerage as you go through the story maybe i'm not sure anyways yeah reduce spoilers exactly all right enter the flame champion's name so i wonder if we're going to be naming all three of the characters we can be i kind of like the names they have and i don't want to name three characters like how do i choose which one to name gilded right so i mean like we could go with, what is it, Hugo, Chris, and Godot. Those are pretty good names, honestly. But I don't know which one the Flame Champion is. Is there like a default option? Can I just hit select? Is it? You just named the Flame Champion. Oh, okay. Interesting. Is the Flame Champion not one of those three, I guess? Let's just name him Jay. 
I named the main character in part two Gilda J, and I got tired of saying Lord Gilda J, Lord Gilda J, Lord Gilda J all the time. So I started saying Lord J, and then it was like, then I was like mixing and matching, and then we had to name our army. We named it the Gilded Army, and I'm like, oh my god, like we're just gonna call him J. I'm sure. Would you like to load so we get two data? I would love to, but it's not on this memory card, so let's just move on. Hugo. Oh, we're already choosing. Why are there six options? That's interesting. There's Hugo, Chris, and then this one must be Godot. And Godot. But there's also three empty spots. That's interesting. Okay, I'm sure it'll come up. Hugo. Chris. And Godot. So... The viewer that sent me in from, sent me a suggested one says I start with Hugo. That's the suggestion that I was given. Um, let me see. I don't want to see like if I can get a non-spoiler answer from the internet on what they think. Um. Man, the, the, the fan on my PS3 is so loud. <laughs> uh, I don't think you can hear it, but I can. That's oof. Um, I don't want any spoilers. A lot of them agree with him up until like fairly far into the game. So like this one, like, so... Do you know anything about this, Rufus? About this, 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 um, order? I don't know how much you know about Sweden in 3. Well, you know, some, right? Kind of. So, what, um, our help for helpful viewer said was Hugo 1, Chris 1, Godot 1, then Chris 2, Hugo 2, Godot 2, and then Chris two, 3, Hugo 3, Godot 3. Right, so Hugo, Chris Godot, Chris Hugo Godot, Chris Hugo Godot. Um, what the internet seems to say is like Hugo, Chris Godot, Chris Hugo Godot. So that part agrees, but then Hugo Godot, Chris. So they changed the third set order. Maybe we can figure it out as we go. But It, it might not matter. There's also a, a, like a, another optional character apparently that people are completely in disagreement as to where that goes. So like, who knows, right? I I don't know anything about the game, so we're just gonna we're just gonna wing it. We're gonna start with Hugo. Here we go. PlayStation 2. Got that upgrade. Although, honestly, Sweet and 2 looks beautiful. Art style's not bad. Kind of reminds me of like Radiata stories a little bit. What is this animal we're riding? Oh, look at Griffin. And a and a duck. <laughs> Why is there a duck? Is that a cobalt? That's a duck. We start with a griffin friend. That's an upgrade from the first one. A duck. Who are you? Who are so wise in the ways of science? All right. So we ride up on this town. So we're in the grasslands in this one. It's gonna be a different sort of look. Hugo. I see we're both out early today. Why is your horse so tired? Have you been out hassling the sleeping earth spirits again? We're calling this a horse? Dude, that ain't a horse. This thing has a horn. Alright, I'll go with it. <laughs> 
Uh, I see you're both out early today. Why is your horse so tired? Have you been out hassling the sleeping earth spirits again? You know better. You know a better way to get their attention. With their help, I'll be the best rider in the village. Hugo has kind of more like a like a tribal look to him, um, which reminds me of um, the what the Karaya or whatever the uh, what's her face that we had to fight as a boss in the last one that was suddenly very loyal to Jowie for the last like fifth of the game. <laughs> Um, and so that leads me to believe that if she was the mother of one of the characters, it's probably going to be Hugo because he has that same sort of tribal look to him with his clothes and everything. That's, that's my guess, right? Oh, one second. Apparently Westworld season four is coming out on Sunday. Holy crap. All right. Good to know. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so you know a better way to get their attention? With their help, I'll be the best rider in the village. Like you need their help. <laughs> You're already the best rider, I, I know. Best rider he knows, okay. Yeah, that's fair. Sergeant Joe, the duck's name is Sergeant Joe, and he has a duck clan. I don't know how to get over this right now. Like the kobolds were the kobolds, but Sergeant Joe the duck has a duck clan. <laughs> I don't know anything about mounting. Spirits, get real. My duck clan doesn't believe in that nonsense. Yeah, ducks don't put in for such nonsense. Did you have a rubber ducky on your helmet? Open your mind, Sergeant. There's got to be more to the planes than meets the eye. If not spirits, then other hidden wonders. If you waste your time wondering... You won't be alert and ready for the important things in life, like being a good soldier. As long as you and Fubar are with... Wait, wait. My Griffin's name is Fubar? Are, seriously? <laughs> this game gets better and better. We're only in the first scene. If you put Hugo and the Griffin in the same pair, Hugo will mount him and you can do more damage. Pair, you mean like the same column? Or, I mean, I don't... The combat system is probably very different. All right. We named our Griffin Fubar. Um, okay. Um, As long as you and Fubar are with me, I fear no one. That's the spirit? I thought you said you didn't believe in spirits. <laughs> fear is our worst enemy, right? Fubar! Hey. Hey, hey, buckle your beak, insubordinate Griffin. <laughs> Cut it out. You two, I'm starving. Let's get some food. Splendid. Karayan meals are always a pleasure. He is from is Karayan. All right. Especially in the home of the Karayan clan chief, which will be Lucia, right? Okay, okay. I'm getting behind this. Bubar speaks Chocobo over here. You know, you know where to get yours, Fubar. Go ahead. Q. Fubar has a weird walking animation. <laughs> Didn't spend many lonely nights on that one. Hey, what the hell? Was it just like an introduction to the character? That wasn't actually chapter one. Interesting, because like now it says go to chapter one. So should I do like all the characters once first and then start doing chapter one? Maybe we should just keep going with them. It was so short, you know? You go story chapter one, Trinity site. Let's just keep going. Yeah, their walking animations are stiff as hell. Lulu, back at last. That sure was a long ride. Well, well, look who's here. So, you're dining with us, eh, Lulu? Where is everybody? Isn't there a host to show us to the table? Huh? 
Never ending appetite, eh, Sergeant? It's Lucia! Her picture I recognize. Her character model's a little jank, but that's okay. A bit like you, your never ending appetite for morning rides, son. Lulu, Sergeant, there's plenty of food. Help yourselves. How much time has passed for this one? It's like, is it like 10 years later or something? I'll save my thanks for later after I've had my fill. Yup. 15. So basically she like had Hugo directly after that war. Pretty much. Like she went home from Sweet in two and had a baby. Hold on. Wait, wait for me. Hugo, come see me when you're done. Why? What's wrong? Why don't you eat first? Uh, okay, whatever you say. That means Hugo is like 15 max. I mean, 14 would make more sense, right? Because, I mean, you need some time to be pregnant. Ah, now that's what I call full. If I eat any more, I'd explode. Somehow I think you'd still find a way to fit more in. <laughs> I noticed Lucia wanted a word with you. Is something bothering her? I don't know. I haven't talked to her yet. I should do that now, I guess. They'll probably give you a guff for spending so much time away from home. What are you trying to say? Quack, quack, quack. Don't worry. Nobody's calling you a mama's boy. Just go talk to her already. I just realized this guy is the personification of the error noise. <laughs> Every time I see Sergeant Joe, it's going to be quack, quack, quack. Oh my god, now I really need a duck emoji. While we're eating, I saw Lucia heading toward my house. Ooh. Oh. The Lulu is a character too. Level 10, level 15, level 11, and 12. Holy crap. And now it says he's mounted. Okay. So they are, they do are in little pairs. Okay, we got items. Runes. We have a wind rune. Tiny wind rune. Damage point eight to target foes in line once per battle. HP recovery, special attack. Joe has water. Lulu has a wind magic attack on his sword, theoretically. Gills. Heavy damage. Raises chances of inflicting heavy damage. Raises a chance of counterattacking. Raises speed of weapon swing. Raises accuracy, overcoming foes' defenses. Raises wind rune chant speed and power. Interesting. Okay. Repelling foes attack, speed of swing. Equipment. They left out the E on equipment. <laughs> Like, they have space for it. Is that literally just a typo? Or, like, like it's 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 on the main, it's like one of the main menus. It just, it's called equipment. Equipment. I guess. Um, alright. Our weapon is called Quan. 
Already level three. We have a kill counter? Maybe? It says Hugo, kill star zero. Hmm. Let's see, we've got 65 attack. Fubar is 100. Oh, Fubar. Doing good, bud. Darn Joe has 115. He only has 50. Formation, okay. Settings, let's see. Message speed fast, please. Triangle is the run button? Really? All right. So it's a PlayStation 2 game, but you still have to use the D-pad to move around. The analog stick doesn't do anything. Fighting enemies is the quickest way to get better. Keep practicing hard, Hugo. Anyone got anything to sell me? Something cheap, good value? You say that, but you're not actually a store. Little town's kind of like circular. All right. My son married a really nice girl, so that's a load off my shoulders. Can okay, we get to that cat? Man, can't talk to it though. Pet the kitty. Feels wonderful here. I must give thanks to the spirits of the wind and the earth. I've had enough of the stench of conflict. People have like hanging cloth for their doors. Man, I hear you're going to open a business. Yeah, a small pub. All I'll be able to offer you now is juice, but come visit after I open. Oh, I definitely will. I how old we're supposed to be. What does Ironhead mean? Listen, don't you ever trust those Zexan Ironheads. Oh, we've heard about Zexan. I guess we're gonna deal with Zexan in this one. I really wanna be able to ride them too. You know, honestly, I don't think I ever wanna walk that slow. So let's just put the default as run. Hard work thinking of menus every morning. I'm hungry. Is it ready yet? Oh, hey, Hugo. Beecham. Are you helping your mother properly? Beecham sounds familiar. teacher. Here you go. Are you practicing properly? You need, you need someone to practice with. Come see me anytime. Oh, training center. Here we go. You can forget. What's the test? Test aptitude. Okay. Oh, look. Fairly good match. Average. Perfect match for repel. Take time. Natural ability exists. Holy dash. Nice. It's basically the, uh, the speed of movement. Is that the freaking stallion ability? The one he has perfect match for is repel. Which is raises chance of repelling an attack. I mean, that sounds good. What damage? Raises damage of direct attacks. It's average. I wonder if that's just how fast you learn it. How do you learn something? Okay, it looks like we have skill points in the bottom there. Uh, we can like assign the points.
the education center for wind magic. Okay, so there's different. So the training center can do the physical stuff, the magic stuffs at the education center. That makes sense. <clears throat> Lucia mentioned him in part two. Okay, the Beecham sounded familiar. I just didn't remember what it was from. <laughs> hmm. We have some points. All of these seem good. It's interesting that there's a heavy damage one and there's a straight up damage one so this is raises damage of successful direct attack and this one is raises chance of inflicting heavy damage so this is your crit chance is what that is right heavy damage must be crit chance and then attack damage is just your damage you also forget one, so you must have limited slots. Yeah, it looks like you have eight, eight skill slots. Interesting, so we have a decision to make there. Hmm. Like everybody has accuracy and damage. Never, Hugo doesn't have damage, he has heavy damage. Lulu has swing and repel. Right, notes. Training centers are for improving physical direct attacks and defense skills. Distribute skill points obtained from battle to develop each skill as needed. Test to find who is suited to which skills. Low aptitude prevents mastery. Members with highly developed skills will prove invaluable. To so it's not just how fast you learn it. It looks like low low aptitude means you might not be able to like learn all of it. Maybe. Man. I mean, I guess you could always forget it and try again with a different one if it didn't go right wonder how fast you learn the skills also does everyone share skill points or let me look at the status hugo okay he has 180 skill points 160 200 okay they all have their separate skill points ice commander wait ice commander slasher slasher knight i wonder what those are they have like little titles Always liked cooking, but it's best when you have someone to cook for. And walk up on her grill there. Hey Hugo, you know it's great to have a whole a wife who cooks. Man, I'm really happy to I married her. Artisans are excellent. I'm glad I came here all the way from Chisha. Ooh, another character. Isla, I need some different weapons, but it's hard to find good ones. Hey, Hugo, taking care of your sword? Bring it in anytime if you want me to fix it. Here we go. We've got a hundred pot, a thousand potch. One second. Sorry about that. A little Google thing decided to start talking like crazy. All right, so Fubar is not going to have a weapon. All right, so he's got a level five weapon already. 65. He's got a level two one handed sword. 600, 300. Bang, clunk, bang, clunk. Voila. All right, so that puts us up to 41. So the next one's up another 19. It won't be as good as Sergeant Joe's. All right, well, we'll work on that. You still have access to a blacksmith early. You have to remain armed at all times. You never know when war will start again.
House. Probably work on our skills too. We have points to defend. You're not 100% sure if it starts in this weekend, but you can eventually take the blacksmith with you as a support and use his services anywhere. Really? Please take a look around. Okay, we got some rare sales here. Fish badge is still a thing. recognizable items but good this urn is nice look at the way it curves here uh-huh i wish it showed on the map like like there's no indication on this building of what it is you know oh, that's what i have to remember you take care. The meadows and woods are full of danger. If you see anything bad, run as fast as you can. Great to have visitors. You learn so much from them. Oh, the innkeeper. Whoa, Hugo, it's been a long time. Do you want to stay here? What do you say? We're good. Need any medicine? Didn't fit in my bag. You want it? Sure. Medicine D. Like some of the houses are red. Oh, that's about. Ooh, hello. Still working on that armor, Jimba. Greetings, Hugo. I have to say, this armor's been through quite a lot. Harsh elements and all, it takes proper care. It needs proper care. You've never mentioned how you got this Zexan armor in the first place. I acquired it from a past acquaintance. Let's smoke. Give it up, Hugo. He won't even tell me, his own brother. All he ever says is that it's from a soldier that he knew long ago. I speak the truth, Lulu, and when you're old enough to understand everything, I'll explain more of the story. Oh, fox dung. Just when am I supposed to be old enough to understand? When you realize how not grown up you are now, quack. Nobody asked you. Okay, you don't have to tell us, but if you're trying to protect it from the elements. Why don't you keep it outdoors? Why don't you? Why do you keep it outdoors? Our mother can't stand the smell of iron. It reminds her of a cruel past. Makes sense, I guess. Hugo, don't look that way. Everyone knows what great warriors my older brothers were. My brother, Jimba, is no less worthy. What's going on out here? Hugo, I might have known. Scrawny as ever, I see. Ha, <laughs> you say that every time you see him. Obviously, he has more important matters to think about than food. Well, Hugo, are you ready for our talk now? Sure, mother. What's this about? I know you're aware of the truce negotiations with Zex, and the next step is for you to deliver an official message to Vinay del Zexe. The trip may take about a week. The Zexan capital? Yes, you must deliver the message directly to the head of the Zexan council. The Zexan capital is nothing like the grassland. The streets and walls are made of stone. When your duties are complete, do what you can of the capital before returning. Official message? It's for the early negotiations towards a peace agreement. The Zexan council has been informed of messenger will come. You want me to go? 
You are the son of a Grassland clan chief. If not you, then who? Zexan must see Grassland as a political equal. But sending a clan chief is unacceptable. By birth, you are the best choice for a trusted official messenger. Can I count on you? I'm up to it. Ha! That's not surprising. He's just like his mother. Brave as a jaguar. Good. I'm proud of you. Have a safe and successful journey. Let's not forget that I, the bravest of the duck clan, will accompany you. I want to go too. Can I please, mother? Spirits, no. Hugo is going as a rep respected representative of Karaya. How do you fit in? Just fine, thank you. Even when Hugo is busy, I'll still have Fubar and Sergeant Joe around to keep me safe. They're not playing around, my child. This is a serious journey. Only if you promise to stay out of trouble. Yes, oh yes. It's, it's okay with you, Hugo. Can I go? Can I? Why not? I'll keep you safe. I'll keep us both from harm. I promise you won't regret this, Hugo. I promise. I promise. Indeed. Let us pray for no regrets. I guess you've made up your minds, then. I hate to see you go, Lulu, but I can't stop you. You go. You should start getting ready. You leave first thing tomorrow morning. One other thing, Hugo. Lulu. Learn well what a Zexan looks like. Not every helmet seen from afar is being worn on a Zexan head. Got it. Sergeant, thank you in advance for all your assistance. Uh, no problem anytime. Letter to Zexan. So, I mean, if it's anything like the last game we played, this peace treaty is going to go wonderfully. <laughs> right? Hi. Watch out for yourself, okay? When you get back, be sure to tell me about Bene del Zexe. I know it's a lot to ask you, go, but please do take good care of Lulu. If he whines, there's no need to be nice to him. You go hurry up and get your stuff ready for tomorrow. I guess we should spend some of these skill points. points we could do heavy damage swing and accuracy all up one might be a good start Swing up to D. Accuracy. I think we have enough for this again too. I don't know how much crit's gonna be right now? Let's um overcome foes defenses sounds really good. Oof. Alright. Um Fubar's got 160 points. Theoretically, we could do accuracy and damage. Or accuracy twice. When it says overcome defenses, I don't know if that means, like, get around evasion or if it means get through their DR so you're doing more damage. Either way, it's more damage. Sergeant Joe. Um, 
Um, yeah, you have less than 100 hit points. Let's give you more of hell. <laughs> I don't think this kid's doing that much damage anyways. That's all we can afford on you. Okay. You going here? Yeah, we went in here. All right. we can go out and see about doing some fighting the way the camera in this town works is a little like you don't control it it just kind of rotates around as you go through the town all right everybody we're not going to get anything ready for tomorrow by just standing here well i guess i need to go do something back to our house maybe I think was this one back here got a problem don't think you'd better start preparing for the trip now I suppose so I can't wait to get started. See you tomorrow, fellow travelers. Don't oversleep or we'll leave without you. Let's make sure I pack everything. What do you think? You go, are 10 different outfits enough? He has like chicken legs instead of duck legs. Or feet. I don't know. Hey, what's everyone doing here? We'll return in short, of course. We're, we'll return in short course. We'll certainly pray for your quick return and protection along the way. Lulu, aren't you ready yet? Hold on, I think I overpacked. Better safe than sorry. Did you pack medicine too? Yes, yes, you keep acting like we're going to get hurt or something. Well, how do we know what Zexim will do? They may look friendlier than they are. Who knows? Yes, yes, I'll watch out. No wandering on my own. No strange food or drink. Anything else? Don't even ask. You go, your experience of the world beyond grassland is not as important as to me as your safe return. May my Hugo walk with the divine protection of the earth and wind spirits. I'll be fine. Don't be embarrassed to be loved by one's family is nothing to be ashamed of. I've never seen Hugo look this way before. You have the same look too. Ah! May my Lulu walk with the divine protection of the earth and wind spirits. Spirits, help me now. I'm right through bar. All right, we're out and about. The camera is definitely something else in this game. What is this camera? Hugo, I have a favor to ask of you. Here, what is it? Take this. Now, take this to the light fellow family in Vene del Zexe. What is this? All I can say is that it once belonged to a brave Zexan soldier who died long ago. When you give it to his family, tell them that he died heroically. The soul of a warrior. I'll take good care of it. I trust you'll do so. Consider it delivered. Pentacle. All right. When this is delivered, my biggest burden will be lifted. Hurry. May the divine ones protect you. Thank you. Farewell for now. 
And Lulu, do nothing that would sadden your mother. I'll be fine. You'll see. So long, brother. Oh, okay. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. This is the map? Really? Plane of armor? Duck village? Brass castle? Plane of armor north? Dexon forest? And Venado's XA. Alright. So there's not a world map? Actually, let's go back here and save real quick. Oh my lord. This is me running. We're back already! Maybe don't tell me you forgot to bring the message. Are you homesick already? Quack quack. Um, we can save at the inn, which was this one, I think. No, it's the shop. This one again? There we go. All right. Doesn't seem like a big enough village to field all the soldiers that Lucia had in part two. So I guess there's a lot more villages like this around here. The nostalgia of this game, opening theme, the menu music. <laughs> well, welcome, welcome to the stream. This is my first time playing it, so no nostalgia for me. But we did just get done beating this weekend in two, so. There's that going. All right, I guess we'll head over here. Wow, so there's like, interesting, huh? Um, let's let's go towards the duck one first, actually. Kind of out of our way, right? This is just like an open field, so we can like. Maybe get some random battles here. Yep. All right, first fight. Fight, let go, auto. Blade Bunny. Okay, these still work basically the same way. Oh, interesting. Oh, and look at this at the bottom. It's showing you like when they're gonna do stuff. Interesting. Oh, you have to decide what everyone's gonna do as a pair even if they're not like mounted up, huh? Okay, so each pair gets one action. Interesting. Wonder how that's gonna work with like Ooh, skill points rolling in already. How that's gonna work with like um if you want one person to cast a spell, does that mean the other person in their pair can't do anything? Thank you. 
You auto. Should be fine. There's not that many options at the moment. Okay. Look at these like stars on Hugo and Sergeant Joe. We can get together some money and we can still upgrade our weapons more. How much money are we getting here? We're at 790 already. Yeah, we could we could upgrade our weapons a couple times if we wanted to. Get ourselves a leg up on the game. Like if it's gonna be so we have to choose a main character and do their chapter, and then choose a main character and do their chapter, and so on and so forth. If that's anything like, say, like Dragon Quest V or IV or whatever, or um, like Wild Arms, like you end up kind of doing the low levels over and over again for each group, right? Like theoretically, we work on getting our money up and getting our weapons leveled up and everything and then we're just going to switch to a different character altogether. Now they only have one star. I wonder what those stars are. We're getting skill points pretty quickly too. Oh, I'm sure I'll see. I'm just sort of speculating. Poison last after battle, or Lulu's hurt. Heals and correct status for a pair. So it heals a whole pair. Interesting. Yeah, but like having the duck heal stops the kid from attacking too. Interesting. Poison those two. No, no, oh, I didn't mean to run away. <laughs> I did the wrong option. That's fine. They do say poisoned. And poison is abbreviated P-O-S-N, apparently. Fair enough. again. It's unfortunate. And yeah, medicine doesn't heal that. So this is our last heal. It'll get rid of poison. Hold off. I wonder if it will go away automatically. Also, does it hurt? It does seem to hurt me on the world map, doesn't it? 104. 101, yeah. Will it wear off? Before we spend the heal on it. Thank you. 
trying to think of all the implications of the changes to the combat system. Wasn't a fa you weren't a fan of the pairing system? Go back here and say at the end real quick. I wonder if it's possible to get into a random battle moving between points. Um, that's interesting. So basically with the pairing system, it seems like what it's going to end up being is that we really just have a three-man party, but each person is made up of two characters. You kind of have to treat them as one to a certain extent. Interesting. I don't think it costs anything to say at the end here, does it? Let's see. We have 1330. <laughs> Am I just doing a normal playthrough or like a high completion run? This is my first time. This is a this is a blind playthrough. I, I don't know anything about the game outside of that I've beaten Sweet in one and two, and I've gotten all 108 stars in one and two. Um and I know that there are 108 stars in this one. But I, I don't know anything about getting them. I don't know anything about the story. I know that there are three main characters. That's not saying much, I don't think. Um, so yeah. I'm going to attempt to get as high a completion run as I can without using a guide. Find that blacksmith again. Maybe we can level up our weapon again. There's a lot of combat options. Awesome. Dude, this guy is in here. He doesn't look like he's from here. All right, we need 1500 for the next weapon upgrade. Okay, so five is the highest he can go. So that'd be our last one. And then we can level up Lulu's. I want to get Hugo's up first. So we need, we need a little more money. And thank you for avoiding spoilers. Uh, we'll be playing Suikoden here on the stream every, pretty much every night I'm streaming from now until we finish it. So, if you like watching it, just hit the follow button. We're going to basically be playing Suikoden 3 probably up until the end of July, I'm guessing, because at the end, I'm going to try and beat it by then and get it done. Is it the end of July? We have um, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 coming out. And we're going to take a Xeno. A tweak it and break to play some Xenoblade. But eventually the plan is to play all of them. So Sweet and 4, Sweet and Tactics, Sweet and 5 are also all on the list. Me. Oh, we didn't upgrade. I'm hoping that once we get that level 5 weapon on um, Hugo, we'll be able to one-shot these things. A little bit more skill points and we'll be able to upgrade another skill too. excited about the idea that there's a lot of combat options one of my 
complaints about Suikoden 1 and 2 was that the combat was really pretty basic. The story was great. And the gathering up of party members and the building up your castle, amazing. The music's been good. Everything's been great, but like the combat's been kind of dull. Old tree beads. Okay. And we have enough money to upgrade our weapon now. It might be worth it to go check out the duck village before we spend any money. There might be something we want there. How much money do we, how much do we need to level up? If it's anything like the other ones, it's like a thousand XP to level up. Okay. Alright, you find that. Actually, interesting, actually, come to think of it, um, you have to move. It actually takes how far you have to move into account for determining how long did you do an action. It's probably worthwhile to spread them out. Just so that there's someone closer to both sides of the battlefield. I did watch the opening cutscene. Um, it's all kind of out of context for me because I don't know most of the characters, but I did watch it, yeah. We sat on the opening cutscene for a while while I read the manual at the beginning. Oh, Lulu went down. Oops, Daisy. I guess we better go to town. Actually, will he come back up at one? Or does he stay down? He comes back to one. All right. Let's do that. Duck Village. The new world map's interesting. Oh. Cool. I'm on patrol. I know we're discussing peace with those iron heads, but you never know what might happen. This has been a good friend to me, but I can't depend on it forever. You take it. Toy Duckling. Okay. Ooh, I see a rune shop. My business takes me to places and I can tell you something strange is happening in the West. Okay. Ooh, and this is the um, magic skill shop. It is. Natural ability and win magic. Mm. You'd rather work on their physical skills first, probably. Sage. You don't sell any, you just affix and remove, huh? Very sorry, this sort of cycling. How many slots do we have? All of our slots to begin with? I did do a buy option. Oh my god. Right, water, earth, goss, for axe users, okay. Unicorn, damage to target, 
plus foes in front. They're kind of expensive at the moment. That's actually true. Rings are worth a lot of money right now, huh? Hmm. I was actually wondering if I'd take like the weapon rune off of the kid and put it on someone that could use it better. Lottery. We have here. I'm not sure what that's about. Lot spot. Bought a duck bought at Duck Village. Each lottery has a sales period and payout period. These are vary by town. Up to ten tickets can be bought for any one lottery. You must check the lottery results to board to identify winning tickets. This check can only be done within three lotteries after the one ticket was purchased for. However, once a ticket has been identified as a winner, they can be cashed in at any time. Only at the place of purchase. So you can buy lottery tickets? Hmm. Let's save and try the lottery, I guess. This is our first trading post. The village chief. Alright. same. God, I hope we don't have another character tied to making money at the trading posts. Gordon sucked. <laughs> uh, I'd rather do do without the trading post if I can. Let's, let's see how it goes, I guess. Yeah, there's the end. We got what? Item shop and an identifier appraiser? Beak. Oh, it's only for ducks, huh? Plus 10 power. Plus 5 defense. Not bad, it's just expensive right now. And more kindness drops. Alright. Start a lottery. Okay, talking to the board makes this guy show up. How much do these cost? Okay, like a hundred per ticket. Se is it sequential? Not buy more than ten? I guess ten's the max. Now what? How long do I have to wait to see if they win?
How will I know if they win? I guess my tickets have numbers on them or something. So sales period 84. Wonder how long we can um Is it just a time thing? Let's go earn some more money, upgrade our weapon, and then see if we want any money at their lottery. We gotta save it before we spend all that money. What is this? The hint about the trade post? Larry and Vendor comes all this way just to get soy sauce. So the soy sauce is popular in wherever Clary is. some money see if we can't work out this lottery thing I mean like five minutes in the lottery might change over Random mini boss, really? Oh lord. Well, we did just save. It's interesting that there are random mini bosses just out in the world. That's kind of cool. Doesn't do too much damage. Probably worth some XP and some money. I crit 400 some damage. Nice. Level up. And a thousand potch. Level up again. Okay, that was great. Let's run into more him. Oh, you like full defense? As I say, can we one shot these things? But I guess not. We definitely have enough to go upgrade our weapon again, though. Let's go do that. Let me fight these things till we run out of heals and then go level up our weapon and spend some skill points. isn't really about experience. You don't need to grind for experience in speaking games. It's more about getting potch right now. Another crit. Damn. We could our accuracy a bunch actually, and we're still missing. Go ahead and go this way. We'll go in um we'll go ahead and upgrade our weapon.
If that boar wanted to show up one more time, I would not be upset about it. when we go back to check the lottery we should save and then check the lottery and if we don't win reload the save and try again to see if it changes or if it's like predetermined beforehand if the rng doesn't get decided until you actually check the tickets then we could probably cheese the lottery Can't go past level five. So we need another 1500 for Lulu's last level of upgrade. Let's go check for skills. Then we'll go try and check on this lottery and then See if we can cheese the lottery. And then we'll just move on with the story. <laughs> We're learning things. All right. Let's see. Hugo. Um. Not miss anymore. That'd be good. Of attacks, I guess. Check on the lottery. Multiple swings. Okay. We're going to want to max all these skills out, right? And then the real question is do we want to forget any of them and replace them with other ones? It's like we only have eight slots, so we can't get everything on everybody. Can we skip straight to here? No. Jacking, we, we still have to go through here even if we've been there before. Right. Good one-shot stuff now.
assuming I hit them. Shot the spiders. Let's see. Yes. Checking the lottery tickets, let's um, go to the end. It wasn't in here, right? Yeah. Takes a second. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kid, the boy detective. You got an unsolved case. Ask me for my name. All right. Kid, the boy detective, huh? Well, that's a character for sure. I wonder if he's our new Richmond, right? He's, he's a detective, right? Uh, we're still on lottery number 83. we have or the tickets we have. Definitely not Conan. No, that, that'd be crazy talk. All right, let's go grind for a second. I mean, it can't be too long before you can do the lottery tickets, right? Seems like waiting for the lottery to come through is like waiting for the trading shops to change their prices. 
I wonder how often, how soon you get the uh, teleport ability. Next time we gain a level, we'll go ahead and go back into town. Still attacked, even though his group healed. You know. that level. I'm gonna go check the lottery again. See how the lottery works, man. Come on. I don't really need to grind anymore, I'm just wasting time. Alright, we should level up on the next fight, and then we'll go check the lottery. Maybe the next fight. 
<laughs> he didn't level up. I mean, one of those griffins, I'll, I'll level them up. My griffins, spiders. Brains. Fried, apparently. Pump. Damn me a spider fight. Or that boar again, that would also be good. Your choice. Either or. Spider will do. You don't know if time passes depending on actual time or if it's dependent on progressing the story? Really? Well, in Suikoden 2, it was actual time. Okay, we did level up. Cool. Let's, uh... Let's go check. You think I might have to get to a certain part of the story for the lottery to advance? I guess that's possible. Stay here. Lottery number 84 is on the board yet. Nope. Maybe you're right. Saying you think maybe time doesn't pass naturally, huh? Playtime anymore? Right. 
Let's check the time on the save file when we save this time. says that we're at one thirty one. So if for instance the lottery reset every thirty minutes, you would think it would happen at thirty one one minute one hour one thirty, right? If that were the case, it should be reset now. It is not. And just to check I'm going to leave and come back in one more time. This is looking like we may need to advance the story for the lottery to work. That's the way it's looking. up on the lottery for now although at the same time that i'm saying that it's taking up 10 slots in our inventory i really would like to get rid of it but you can see what we got for our numbers that's interesting too so we got c8810 c8811 c8812 13 and then we got the random ones we have 10 inventory slots taken up right now out of what we get six three four five we have 30 inventory stuff so a third of our inventory is taken up by these things i really kind of need the lottery to happen save point looks like one let me healed me I wonder one 
135. I'll try to get it 145. No, I need no fights here. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say maybe because there's a save point, there's no fights, but never mind. over 100 hit points let it take down a little bit we'll just heal it up when we when we cure the poison anyways all right so this zone is more than one map what is that the thing jumping around back there interesting dead now. Remind me of a dragon quest monster. There's no way to get across these fast on the world map. Or you have to like walk through these empty screens to get around. Purple Creeper, huh? Grass Castle. Hey Rockies, it's good so far. Um, do you know how long it takes for the lottery to come around? Hey Hugo, running the usual errands? The iron heads are edgy these days, so watch yourself. We bought a bunch of lottery tickets, but it it just doesn't seem to want to go to the next lottery. Never been here before. Stone building's stunning, but it feels kind of cold. We kind of gave up waiting for it, so here we are. Look at this amazing mountain of stones. It's more like a giant fort or something, and is this where the iron heads hide out? Must be. All right, enough of this gawking. We're not in grassland anymore. Let's go. I was trying to see if I could cheese the lottery. That was the idea. I bought a bunch of lottery tickets and I was going to save and see if I loaded the save, if it changed the results. So we could try and see what kind of lottery rewards we could get, but I can't get the lottery to come up to where I can even check the results. Someone put forward that maybe the lottery only comes around after you've progressed the story a bit. I wonder if my mom is doing alright in Ixe Village. How strange, the captain and vice captain of Zexan Knights were killed in battle. I've heard nothing about their funeral. Look at this pig. I call him Johnny Lunchbox. He's fattening up just right. <laughs> it's so it'll be so tasty. Poor pig. That's you, Hugo? What are you doing here? Oh, wow, off to Vinny del Zexe. Rough there. Don't get yourself hurt. The numbers keep resetting. Awesome. So we're going to cheese the hell out of the lottery then. 
All right, we got a blacksmith here. Let's see if we can go over level five. He can. He can. Oh, he can go up to level seven at least. Oh boy. All right. Good to know. Good and sharp with a nice shine, but it's no match for shimmering beauty of Lady Chris. Ah, what are you looking at? Oh, Chris, let's see what our main character. Armor shop. Damaged armor is 16,000? Damaged armor is plus 25 defense. Screw. Is that like gadget? The girl with a barrel. Looks like it might be a mechanical barrel. It's not Meg though. Interesting. It fell down and hurt himself. I'm looking for medicine and bargains that come along. flame amulets we get some elemental resists but they are costly at the moment oh you must be a Karayan I think it's sad when human beings hate each other but many people in the castle don't agree be careful they have knights in grassland too this huge creature accompanying you. Is this some kind of new grassland riding beast? back to the lottery again but yeah. you there assume proper formation and stay out from underfoot what's going on around here hey watch it I said stand clear There's Chris. Let me remind you that we cannot rest for long. We must leave for something. You mean to say we won't be able to wait for the rest of the No, I'm afraid not. Surely you under Seriously. What are we lining up for? Ironhead Knights? It's I'm not hitting a button, it's just making the text go away. Ouch! Oh that you give me time to read. Okay. Oops, pardon me. Louie, huh? Are you all right, lad? Please forgive my companion for getting in your way. Yeah, well, what do you expect from an iron head? What do you mean, iron head? Those clothes, you are Karayan? And who might you be? <laughs> I 
who do you think you are? I don't know who you think you are, but I'm going to beat you up. All right, of course, I should have introduced myself first. I am Chris Lightfellow, the acting captain of the Zexan Knights. Ooh, that's going to be a fun character. Lightfellow? That name sure sounds familiar. Captain, time is fleeting. We must be on our way. Wait, I must speak with you. Get back, young barbarian. Here we decide who lives, who dies, and who speaks. Are you threatening me? Hugo, don't. Damn. Time is of the essence now. Very well. Our apologies once again, child. Goodbye. Be careful what you do here. This is Zexan land. Bye. I do apologize. Everything I've heard about Ironheads is true. But it is odd to see a woman wearing armor. Strange indeed. <laughs> Not here, Fubar. Get out here looking at the wall. I'm a hunted man. You say so, buddy. Look at Margarita's fine, sleek coat. Just seeing her stand there, you can tell how lively she is. Could you ever find a finer horse? Well, well, so you're a Chief Lucia's son. In the past, I often delivered merchandise to stores in Karaya. My, how you've grown. We got a book, pizza. The room master? Oh, this is the person looking for the wanted man, huh? They're playing hide and seek. Hey, it's Gene! doing here shield field effect HP recovery one third chance death blow up your power but your attack comes last mm. Butterfly dancing in the moonlight. So Jean made her way to grassland at some point. Or Zexan, I guess. He said, when you need the money, play the lottery. I'm trying to, man. There's someone watching me from behind. There is. This is set 15 years after two. Yeah. You play a hobbit in this one, no? You're you're just a young man, <laughs> an adolescent, like a high schooler, but they don't have high school because you're Brian.
Okay. 151. If it's going to be time-based, it has to have kicked over by now. Let's go check. We're going to check, and hopefully it's all going to be good. Trying to remember the story, you're in for a wild ride. The game has great characters. Awesome. I'm ready to, you know, take my time with it. We're gonna we're gonna enjoy this story. Like my, the only time limit I have on this is we need to finish it by July 29th so that I can play Xenoblade Chronicles 3. That's a pretty large window. I am going to be gone for like a week and a half in the middle of July. Family's going to Disney. So I'll be on vacation. But even with that, we got plenty of leeway for getting this game done. We need to find a character like Richmond that can help us recruit everybody. Maybe it'll be that little boy detective we found. Obviously we're not far enough in the game to recruit anybody yet. But I'm just trying to like note down all the people with portraits and names that we run into. I wish you could just be like, go back over here, you know? But we have to like do each segment and then walk through the green dot. This could end up taking a while to get around until we get teleport. I'm kind of surprised it makes you walk through these areas again once you've done it once. Well, we got all 108 stars in Suikoden 1 and Suikoden 2. We might as well keep trying to do it in 3. Quack. Yeah, one of our one of our characters... There's a whole race of duck people. That's where we're headed right now is the duck village. They're like kobolds, but they're ducks. spend some more skill points if we can win a bunch of money at the uh, lottery we could level up our weapons a bunch not sure what else we do at the moment <laughs> that might be enough we could buy some of that really nice armor or like the um, accessories that give you resistances and stuff. Fur flies, huh? These uh, skills are going to be an interesting addition as far as like leveling up all the different combat characters you have they're like your experience you catch up really fast with but the skills are like per kill and i don't think that they so far they don't seem like they scale with your oh, we got a we got our first identifiable object they don't seem like they scale necessarily with your level so we might have to like grind a bit for characters we haven't been using if we try to pull them back in and we want to be like okay we want to use this guy now but we haven't leveled up any of his skills yet you know what i mean like with xp i never worried about it i, I could bring them into the party like 20 levels down and they'd catch right back up but with skills we need them to earn the skill points that could be rough i wonder how that works 
at higher levels when we have new characters. I wonder how fast you earn skill points at you know, mid game. Once you get to the point that you really want to be switching characters fairly often. I'm also wondering about recruitment. Oh, we got this rare guy again. Awesome. He should be easy to kill now, too. This guy, this guy gave us two levels last time and like a thousand potch. Oh, that's true. If inactive party members get skill points, that that would help a lot. I I somehow doubt it, but I mean, because I mean, like that's not the way it's ever worked with XP. But I don't know. I'm sure there's some kind of mechanic to make it all work out. Nice. All right, another level for Joe. Another thousand potch for us. Crap ton of skill points to go to. All right. Yeah, we can definitely get a couple more skills leveled up. Doesn't seem like it's going to take too much grinding to get your skills up, which is good. All right. Now, there has to be the next lottery now, right? If the lottery hasn't advanced this time, I'm going to go ahead and say it must be based on like story advancement, right? Like, if it hasn't come up yet, it's not going to be by time. It's been too long. Hey, Shadow Swift. We're still at the very beginning, man. We're good so far. All right, let's save the game so that if... If the lottery is there, we can save scum our results <laughs> and make money. It's all about. Yup, there we go. We have results. So it is just by time, but it just it's like half an hour or something. All right. Let's see these results. Um, how do we read this? So the 500, is that 500,000 potch? Or if you have 138? All right, so, oh, the, the, the really big one, what the big one is, because there's 300,000, 30,000, 100,000, 500,000, then there's one that just shows a crown. What's the crown give you, I wonder? Anyways, um, 8812, it matches the two on the 3,000, does that mean we get a win there? Yeah, yeah, okay. That's 3,000. We we spent, we only spent 1,000 potch on these tickets, so we've already won 2,000. 8813, I don't think that matches anything. Yeah. 1,4, nope. One five is gonna be a loser. One, okay, here we go. Eight seven seven nine. Five oh four five. Seven eight nine. Not, I mean, we won money, but it's not like for the time investment. We're gonna we're gonna reload this save. <laughs> this is this is this is underwhelming. I wonder what that one is where it just shows eggs. Does that mean you just get another card? Like another lottery card? Why would I keep the non-winning tickets? All right, so that's no good. Let's reload and see if we can get better. <laughs> I wonder what the chances actually are of the different, like, win levels. Oh, no, resetting makes my capture card mad. Come on, capture card. You can do it. There you go. <laughs> You've missed 
basically nothing. We are playing Hugo. We're the son of Lucia from Speaking in Two, the uh, tribal chick that was serving Jowie that we fought as a boss. Um, that's about it, really. Let's see if we can make more than 2,000 podge. 2,000 podge is not worth our time, lottery-wise. That was like a half hour. That's not happening. What? Give me something good. Um, These numbers are not looking happy for us, guys. Our lottery tickets are already set. It's the numbers on the board that change. Oh, here we got the 3,000 one again because we ended in eight. That one's easy to get. You see one that ends in an eight, right? Oh, we got a hundred thousand ticket winner. That's pretty happy. Okay, we'll okay, we'll take this one. Awesome. So oh, suddenly we have a hundred thousand pot potch. Um why would you keep the non-winning tickets? Alright, I'll throw these away. Cash in. That ought to hold us over for a while. I want to buy more tickets right now. I guess we could. Um, hmm. Like, if we. Hi, right, Shadow Conoco. I guess we should try again and just to see what we can get. So we'll get. I feel like getting sequential ones is good to get that 3000 one fairly easily. And then random is good to get some of the other random things. All right, so now we have to come back here in like half an hour. Let's go save because we've made a bunch of money. Hey, the detective kid's gone. That's interesting. So it's about the two hour mark, so around two and a half hours. When our save gets to like two and a half hours, let's come back here and check the board again. To see if it's like 30 minutes. My guess right now is about 30 minutes. It could be longer, honestly. All right. I don't think we need anything else here. Let's go back to the initial town. I mean, we could buy more runes, but I don't, I don't think we need any of those right now. Go to the initial town, we can buy some more skills of those skill points for hoarding. And then we'll head back out. We can upgrade our weapons at the oops. At the blacksmith at the fort. And then um continue with the story from there, honestly. Like we got a big pile of money, we're good. Like we don't need to grind anymore. The grinding was just sort of to pass the time. We don't need any levels. Pretty sure we're already over leveled. And now with all that money, we're gonna be definitely overpowered. We can spend that money getting some armor upgrades to go with our weapon upgrades too while we're at the fort. Because why not? We're really souping up these starter characters when probably only Hugo is gonna be the ones that we care about. Maybe Hugo and the Griffin, I don't know. I gotta love that he named his Griffin Fubar, by the way. <laughs> I 
Oh, you know what? Actually, I want to go back to their store. They had an item. I'm just remember, like, um, didn't they have an item for the duck dude? Specifically at the duck village? Crap, we should have checked it with all that money. We're not too far away yet. Let's go back real quick. There was like an item to give him extra power and defense, right? But it was like duck only. Gotta make Howard the Duck the best character ever. Sergeant Joe. All right, Sergeant Joe. Studio Gonzo. What does Studio Gonzo make? I'm not like knowledgeable about that kind of stuff. Sounds somewhat familiar though. Um, it would have been the item shop, right? Make a bunch of anime. Okay. Silver beak, that was it. Gives him five defense and ten power. duck emote it's necessary now it was necessary before <sighs> i still don't understand why they couldn't just put the e in equipment like <laughs> there's clearly space there for that e how many letters is that eight did they really limit it to eight characters is that what they did they must have no formation has nine there's no reason to misspell equipment. They just misspelled it. Like formation is longer than that. So there's just no, there's just no excuse. They just misspelled equipment. <laughs> That's hilarious. Last Exile, Full Metal Panic, Chrono Crusade, Trinity Blood. Okay. I don't know those ones, but that's cool. <laughs> Still cool. Like, you know, you see mistranslations or typos in the dialogue and you think you know these things happen if it was a triple a game they would have had someone whose only job was to sit there and go through all those looking for typos but whatever right not a big deal i mean it's one line in one line of dialogue in one scene in a really long game like 40 50 60 hour game whatever but this is a this is a piece of text that is on the screen every time you change your equipment. It's like in the main menu. How did you miss that? <laughs> it's so many chances to see that. Everyone who plays the game has to see that. You're lucky in your Dragon Force game and you found a Dragon Crest early? That sounds like a good thing. All right, let's go spend our skill points. And then we'll head over to that fort and upgrade our armor and weapons too. And we're just gonna be like super stacked with power at this point in the game. The walking animations in this game are a little, a little weird. 
This one isn't too bad. I mean, it's still kind of weird. But like the walking animation for like the duck dude, like Sergeant, like it's pretty awkward. I have to like wait and see it, I guess. I saw it in one of the cutscenes, and I'm like, what is he doing? Is that how he gets around? All right. More accuracy. B plus. Oh, oh, now we're starting to get pluses in there. Now we have an A. Oh, is that max? That must be our max. Okay. Um, we're going to swing. Oh, we don't have enough points yet. Okay. We're all going to be super accurate. I don't want to miss. B plus is his max. Okay. Well, then let's work on damage. Okay. B was his max. How do I do my attacks while riding? So, like, in this game, it seems um, you don't have a party of six people. You have a party of three pairs of people. So they pair together. And when the main character is with Fubar, he actually mounts them and rides them around. But when you're giving out commands, you give out commands to the pair not to the individual characters. Interesting. So yeah, different people have different like maximums. pretty good um okay let's head to that fort and use our big pile of money to get a bunch of weapons and armor so there's all these different skills you can learn in the game um the ones that i'm leveling up right now are just the ones that these characters started with but you can learn more skills too. But not every character can learn the same skills. It looks like you have eight skill slots. You can't learn all of them. So you have to choose eight. There's also the ability to forget if you want to get rid of one to make room for another one, I guess. So there's definitely a lot of room to customize the skill system. I like that. So we said 2.30 is when we're going to try and go check on the lottery again. And so, see, we we don't have four characters. We have, like, two groups. We have Hugo Fubar and Sergeant Joe Lulu. So when I go to it, select them, I'm, I'm, I'm giving a command to the group. So I say, Hugo and Fubar, attack that one. And Sergeant Joe and Lulu attack this one, and that's it. Like you don't you don't give out four commands; you just give out two. Um, oh my God, six hundred damage. Was that a crit, or is that just their new damage? <laughs> we still missed, even with me pumping accuracy as much as I can. Whatever. Um, which is really interesting. Because that actually means we have way more characters even than a normal Suikoden game, if you think about it. Because really that means that we have like a, a, a three-person party, not a six-person party. But the people in the party are combinations of two characters. So if we had like 50 characters, that's like... Like even if we only had like 10 characters, you're still talking like... God, I'm trying to do the math and my head hurts. Even if we only had like 10 characters, that's like 45 combinations or something silly like that. Like, cause there's just so many different ways you can combine two characters to make a, a pair. And we're gonna have way more than 10. So, yeah. Now, I mean, a lot of them are probably more or less the same, 
right? But like, there's still, there's so many different combinations you can make. It's gonna make for an interesting battle system. Especially like each character has their own different sets of skills and they all have their own different runes because they can have three, the three runes equipped. Theoretically, I guess I could like split up Lulu and Sergeant Joe, but I don't think there's a benefit to that really. I could give them warders separately, but they would be like, they wouldn't be a full pair anymore. They still both attack even when they're getting one order, right? Although you can't really tell a single pair to do two different spells at the same time. It's skills. Like skills is a whole new system. So like if you look at skills, like Hugo has the heavy damage, counterattack, swing, accuracy, and wind magic skills right now. And you notice it says learn skill. There's three more slots there. You can get eight of them. Um, like wind magic is his a uh, is like his speed and power for wind magic. How long it takes him to cast the spell and how how much damage it does. His accuracy is his ability to overcome people's defenses. His swing is how fast he swings his weapon. His counterattack is how the chance of getting a counterattack. His heavy damage is his crit chance, right? Like Fubar has accuracy and damage. Damage is just your 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 damage. Um, he has damage, accuracy, and water magic. Lulu has swing, which is how fast you swing your weapon. Repel, which is like your I don't know if it's your defense or if it's your chance to dodge. It might be your chance to dodge. And continual attack, which is his chance of getting successive attacks, right? Like extra hits. Um, It looks like he only has two slots right now. He has one and he has one and he has two. Like maybe they don't have eight right now. Maybe they have less. That's interesting too. Um, yeah, like the, the, the one thing is like, say like runes, like right now, Sergeant Joe has water. Lulu just has a sword of cyclone, which is like, basically it puts wind magic on his weapon for the most part, but like, I can't command Joe to heal and command Lulu to like, if he had a, if he had, if he had like fire, I couldn't command him to cast a fire spell at the same time. So because they're in the same group. It looks like if I cast, if I tell Joe to heal, Lulu will just attack. But if they were in separate groups, we could tell them both at the same time to cast a spell, right? It's interesting. It's definitely, it's definitely going to add a lot, uh, another layer of like tactics to the fighting or strategy. I don't know. All right, let's spend some of this money. First off at the blacksmith. How high a level can you make my weapons? Level seven, you say. All right, so he can only go up to seven, but still seven is good. Look at that, plus 30 to attack for this level. That was a big level, then plus 13 for this one. It, it changed the name of the weapon. Whenever the name of the weapon changes, it's always a big level. 19 for this one goes from Sut to Sutra. See the name change. You can always tell when the, when it's a big bump up, it's like a name change. All right, everyone has level seven weapons now that costs us a lot of money, but it's okay. <laughs> it's worth it. Right? Yeah, theoretically. I don't know how much we care about Lulu's weapon, for instance, but whatever. Increments of five? Increments of five for what? This armor, for the most part, seems crap. I think I want, well, let's check the rare ones. Okay, here we go. Biako chainmail for Sergeant Joe. 
Weak versus thrust, good mobility. Expensive. And a new helm for him. All that just gives him like 15 defense. And it costs us 34,000 potch. I don't know if that's... Um, I mean, it would make him a lot tankier, I guess. It's, you know, we went out of our way to earn that money. Let's use it. Instead of damage chainmail, we're going to have this stuff. Bit of a damage helmet. Tanky duck is tanky. some rare lightning and flame amulets so lightning amulet on top of giving us seven defense it also gives us lightning resist which seems pretty cool and fire resist and nine defense so let's give hugo fire resist and lightning resist that we can. Hugo and Lulu have fire and lightning resist and a bunch more defense. We spent a bunch of money, but you know what? That's why we did the lottery. We still have 13,000 potch left, which is honestly way more than we should have at this point in the game. And on top of that, we um have all these upgrades. Part of our training to become strong like Lady Chris. I can't wait to play Lady Chris. I think we're doing her second. She's another one of our main characters. Trying, eh? Well, I don't mind teaching you, but you're not thinking you could ever be a knight, are you? Damn, dude. Do you teach different stuff? Is a good question. You have armor protect and holy dash. Okay. So we could add damage to him. I don't think we need to right now. I'm just going to work on the ones that we already have and not worry about getting new ones yet. Raises strength of armor in battle. So that makes me think even more that maybe repel is like dodge and armor protect his defense. And holy dash. I wonder if holy dash is moving outside of combat at all or if it's only for like combat movement because your movement in combat takes time too. Hmm... I'm noticing too though, like if you look at our runes, our rune slots don't have any indication to whether they're off or on. Do we just have all three rune slots for everyone from the beginning? Or how does that work? I think I want to get maybe swing next. Before like crit and counter chance. We're two skill points off of raising his damage again. Okay. Don't be a stranger. Oh, when the name changes. It could be. In in um Suikin in two it wasn't uniform, like it depended on the character. I don't know if that's true on this one or not. I wanted to see the prowess of Lady Chris with my own eyes, but I'm afraid to go to the battlefield. This is the room of Lady Chris. Oh, really? What's going on in here? You found me going in here, right? Hey, Lewis. What's up? Yeah, I'm here to sightsee. I'm just uh, looking around Lady Chris's bedroom. You don't mind, right? Do 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 do. There's nothing in here. All right. Gotta admit, Lewis, I was expecting more than that. I'm a little bit bored by this. See you later, Lewis. Oh, that was one of the questions I had. I was wondering, does... We have three separate main heroes in this game, and we play them separately, right? 
I, I assume like most of these kind of games, they come together eventually. Um, so I assume that'll happen, but until they do, I wonder how recruitment works. Do they all have different people they can recruit? And if not, are they competing for recruits? Sorry, is there anything I can do for you? No, we're good, man. Or are they all going to end up on the same team so they can share recruits? Hmm. I feel like this area isn't for right now. It's for when we're playing Chris. You know what I mean? Like, this is all like related to Chris. Apparently this is an inn over here. Yep. I've got info. Don't arrest me. On Yaza Plain, I saw a guy in a white shirt defeat a monster by somersaulting. Awesome. On Yaza Plain, I saw a guy in a white shirt defeat a monster by somersaulting. That's definitely a hint about something. Hey, Claire. Grasslanders are hard on the beds. Not that I'm saying they can't use them, mind you. Um, where are we going here? Okay. Um, let's see. Book learning. I don't need to work on my magic right now. We don't have that many magic slots. I'm not too worried about runes this early in the game. All right, let's keep going. We got a, We have a letter to deliver. Get back to our story. So our mom gave us a letter to deliver to the Zexans. Hopefully it's all gonna work out great. Everybody knows that Peace treaties at the beginning of a Suikoden game are always successful. Historically. Oh, we do have like a support role in the party too. There's a support slot. That's cool. So you can bring like a support character to do something. All right, let's keep going. Dex and Forest. Here we go. Quack, 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 quack. We need to protect, proceed in a westerly direction. Therefore, this must be the way. I thought you said you knew the way. I most certainly do, and I'm telling you this is it. Even my tail feathers concur. Well, if we can't prove it's wrong, we'll assume it's right. Let's keep going. <laughs> Foobar's like, I don't know about this shit. I wonder if there's any armor for Fubar. Fubar's just gonna be like Shiro or the Griffin in part two where you just can't equip them with anything, but they're just awesome anyways. Interesting, like unlike the Griffin in part two, Fubar does not take up two party slots. All right, newly upgraded weapons, 300 damage on a non-crit. 113 damage from the kid with the dagger. There we go. We are a little powerful. All right, so we have a left route and a up route. He said we need to go west, so let's go north. Because, I don't know, maybe there's loot over here. Or maybe this is the right way. To get lost. Getting lost is just another way of leveling up. <laughs> well, you always end up at a high enough level your first time through a game, an RPG blind, because you don't know where the hell you're going, right? You can pick herbs. Oh, we got medicine. Oh. What if that refreshes? It's still there. Interesting. The camera in this game is kind of weird, not gonna lie. Okay, it looks like we could have gone either way. Looks like that was the longer way around, maybe. 
Oh, hello. Fred. Hey, Fred. Rico, you're so slow. Everyone will get away before we get there. Sorry. <laughs> Just don't think I can go much faster. Fred Rico, Fred and Rico. We Maximilian Knights are on a critical mission. The buds of war are set to bloom across this land. It's our duty to sever them swiftly. Sooner the better. Yes, understood, sir. I should hope so. Make certain your legs understand, too. Hmm. Good day? Speak, boy! What do you know of evil knights said to be coming to Grassland? Uh, not a thing? Wait, to the north there are stories. Wait, what is... This is the first I've heard of it. Are there stories in the north? Um... Uh... Not... Nothing? Nothing, really. Very well. Thank you. Rico, we're moving on. Yes, sir. Coming, sir. Maybe I should have told him there were stories. What in spirits? All right. Well, what is this here? There's like a little, little path here. Aha! And here we find a sword and a. I was gonna say in a stone, but it's a sword and a body. We loot the dead. Recipe. The hell are we learning to cook here? <laughs> Hugo, where did you learn to make this stock? Well, I found these bones. And I suddenly had an idea. <laughs> Rump roast. There's hardly any meat left. I think you overcooked it. They think that they're going to beat us, but they don't know how good our equipment is. Equip, equipment, equipment, equipment. How do you pronounce that? Equipment. <laughs> like it needs an apostrophe. Okay, well, made it through. And we finally made it to our destination. Hopefully on time. There it is. It lies here, just as I said. And you doubted my directions. Seems I've earned my wings. Sergeant, are you sure it wasn't luck? Of course not. Though truth be told, this is my first time here. Now then, Fubar, you're to wait outside the city. Hide yourself in the woods. Is that necessary? In case you didn't notice, we get a lot of weird looks when Fubar's around. We're in a strange land, you know. What? Oh, um, you see, I, I thought they were looking at you. Don't be absurd. Quack. <laughs> All right, well, see you later, Fubar. You'll have to wait outside, Fubar. You can hunt, but don't disturb anything belonging to Zexans. And don't get hunted yourself. <whistles> Tell you what. These Karayans, they, they, they may live in tents and, and not have much in the way of, like, technology... But they certainly know about advanced hair dye techniques, right? Like he's got like the dark tips and his buddy's got the colored 
hair on top and everything. See you later, Fubar. Fubar's left. Unfortunate. Um, I mean, that's fine. Do. All right, our first real city. Behold the Zexan capital. I shall cherish this first vision forever. It's really bigger than I thought it'd be. This place makes me feel not good, that's for sure. I know the feeling. Grasslanders are more at home without walls. Open plains and meadow breezes are for us. I'd like to go back as soon as possible. That's why he doesn't wear pants. He likes the breeze. All right. Hello. A big town, isn't it? Of course, Vene del Zexe is, is the capital of Zexen. Try not to get lost. Um, will do. Oh, hello, people. Listen to this. We had Sir Boris in our store the other day. He was buying wine. Man, he looked cool. All right, cool night looking guy. Lady Chris is fantastic, beautiful, intelligent, strong, a truly rare combination of traits. That's an unusual outfit. Where are you from, Karaya? Sorry, never heard of it. Dude, we're not that far away. Wait a minute, that's a Karayan outfit. I went to Grassland once ages ago. I saw outfits like that. Okay. You won't travel much around here. Hands off the horse. With all due respect, this horse belongs to a counselor. Well, okay. That's right, Vinay del Zexe grew out of the deer antler trade. Has Gezen Hyatt made a fortune and he built the international port. This guy may be young, but he has wisdom beyond his age. Okay. I think the city's going to be like a big circle. The inn, oh, that's down by the bazaar. If you lose your way, just ask someone. This game loves to have like cameras that just like rotate with you what trading post oh that's on port avenue keep walking you can't miss it yeah, i was not asking for the trading post dude all right your flowers they're so flat all right um over here hello what are you so miffed about you look kind of like that kid from Attack on Titan. All right. Hey, thanks for the follow, Holly Lunakai. Welcome to the stream. I'm going home. All right, good for you. Oh, uh, what else? Oh. All Wish I controlled the camera. <laughs> like kind of wander into the screen to see what's over here. Ships that sail from the port, the other continents. This town is built on trades. So we get a lot of ships here. From Karaya for crying out loud. <laughs> this guy's jokes are so cool. Are they though? You know, you smell like a country meadow. Thank you. Maybe. Now we got an inn here. Oh, and a bar. Take a look at yourself reflected in my eye. See, you're smiling.
I'm here on business from Calaria. Now this guy's trapped me. Say, how about some snake frog liver? That'll perk you up. <laughs> Burp. Oh my, what do we have here? This fella says he's from Cal Calaria or somewhere. How about yourself? Good to see you relax and enjoy yourself. Oh, I was just thinking about something. Aren't we all? Hey, what are you doing, kid? Hello, sir. We don't often see an outfit like that. Where are you from? Rooms available? No, thank you. Get out of my way. Pin me in. All right. Mom bought me this, but I can't really read. Do you want it? Sure. Script number two. Not sure what that is. Kazuke pickle recipe. And if you give this item to the drama producer. Okay. Let's we know what we gotta do with it. And find the drama producer. I came all the way from Clary to trade, but it's a big town. It's making me nervous. I know the feeling, man. This is just like there's just so many places to go. It's so easy to get lost, what, because of the camera and all. <laughs> I might be good to go behind that furniture for a second. Never. Are you crying? Last time I saw crying here was years ago. Oh, you're so dark. I wish I was tan like that. That outfit's a rare sight. Are you sightseeing? You can buy souvenirs around here. Ooh, who's this up here? This looks like another character we can recruit. For sure. Topo. Nay. Yeah, I'm performing at the moment. <laughs> Fair. Donations after the performance, please. Yeah, so there's some people we can recruit for sure. These guys were up here before, so they've moved. Herb seeds. Okay. For the farm we get eventually, maybe? Kind of early to be getting seeds. Maybe not, though. Continents, Ocean, Gateway. All right. All right, Holly. See when you get back. What is this? This is probably where we're trying to get to. It looks like a government building. This place fits the description we were given. Let's go ask someone. How about that iron head up by the doorway? All right, so that's where we're probably supposed to go. Let's look around some more. Melville, huh, me? Me and my friends are just playing, what do you want? Elliot, whoa, check out the costume. And Alanis. Huh? The inn? The inn's near the port next to the bazaar. Ask someone when you get there. All these kids look recruitable. Is it the same two kids again? They're like following me around.
<laughs> I wish he had two bodies. There they are again. Is that the same? No, they're not. They're just the same. That's just the same model. Okay. Fair enough. Let's see, we got some stores here. Maybe all these red buildings usually are ones with. I'm still lost in the magic of that parade. When I grow up, I'm going to be a knight too. Like this symbol was in the manual. I forget where this one was. Um, was this the lottery, maybe? Yeah. Bags full. No. Ooh, belts of strength. Medicine C is 150, Medicine D is 100, Lunchbox is 190. Well, these are actually worth a fair amount. Soak in bath with this and see what happens. Interesting. So these are bathhouse items? Figuring it needs to be identified. We could sell some of these medicines. But really, we need to just take care of these tickets, but we need to go back to the duck place for that, right? Oof. Maybe I shouldn't have bought those. The blacksmith. Let's see if he can go above seven. Probably can't really afford much more, but I'm curious. No, he can only do the seven. We're already maxed out as far as this guy's concerned. that thing identified here. Most interesting. A failed urn. Gotta love it. You will fail your urn. We go through all the different places before we head over to the building that's clearly going to be advancing the story. It's showing it like there's an entrance here. It's up top. Maybe. There's a ladder here. Mm 
Can I get on the ladder? There it goes. What in the world did they have they hidden all the way over here? In an alley, up a ladder. Oh, he's here. Password? White roses for warfare? No, think hard. Huh. So we need a password to get into there. That's clearly for later. It'd be funny if it gave me the right password. I'm like, I just randomly walk up to a building and go, White roses for warfare? And he's like, you know it. Good, let's go. The camera flips around on us there. Check the left side of the town out real quick. Let's hope there's no wait to see a light fellow. Oh, is this Chris's house or something? Did I just trigger something that I was supposed to do? Hey, Thomas Wagner. Welcome back to the stream. Oh, you followed me yesterday. Thanks for the follow. So that's why you've come, I see. You found me on YouTube. That's awesome, man. I need to work on getting more stuff on YouTube. I have not been posting on YouTube for months. Hard to find time. I stream with most of my free time. <laughs> yes, this is for them. Oh, very good, sir. Wait, we're turning this into the person who died is related to Chris. Been watching my Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy. Awesome. This does indeed belong to the Lightfellow family. Where did you obtain it? Jimba has kept it for years. He's the son of Luce, the, the Karaya clan. From Sir Jimba, you say? Is there something wrong? Uh, no, of course not. We cannot thank you enough for bringing this here. I will see to it personally that Lady Chris receives this. Okay. Please do. Farewell, then. Sir, before you leave, may we not reward you for your service? Reward? Uh... No need. It was a favor for Jimba. I almost forgot. Yes. Jimba also wanted you to know that the Zexan soldier who had this died heroically. I see. That is something. I will communicate to Lady Chris. Thank you. Farewell then. Yes. Thank you so much. Our thanks to Sir Jimba as well. <laughs> well, that takes care of one of my duties. I just kind of accidentally wandered into that. So that is that is Chris's family's home. All right, let's let's go ahead and go to the government building and turn in this letter. The whole reason we came here, after all. Excuse me, sir. I'm here to meet the Zexan council head. Don't you understand me? Everyone else here speaks our language. Answer me already. <laughs> Who needs this guy? Let's go in and see for ourselves. Can you stop us? Yeah. Hey!
Good talk. There may be a more diplomatic way to get the results we seek. This young man comes as an official messenger sent from the grassland by Lucia, the Karaya clan chief. To deliver an official message up to the Zexan council, we therefore request access. What proof do you have that he is an official messenger? You ask for proof? This is Hugo, the very son of the Karaya chief. He, he is the proof. And I'm the son of Luce. My legs are as quick as Hugo's. We really do just seem like bumpkins. Very well then. You may enter. Well, Thomas, I'm glad you found our stream and I hope you enjoy it. Sergeant, you did it. Did you see the look on his face? Teach us the spell you cast. He's not much more stubborn than, than the lizard clan. Oh yeah, there's a lizard clan. We saw that in the cutscene. A little patience and respect go a long way. Whatever you say. Now let's do what we came here to do. We stream in here almost every night, so <laughs> you'll get plenty of JRPGs. This is ridiculous. After coming all this way, they won't even see us for two to three days? But Mother said they'd be expecting a messenger. Not everything goes as planned when it comes to politics. What do you mean? Uh, discussion is apparently not a valuable enough item to pay for their time. They're showing us how priceless their time is to them. We have to wait around for some protocol. The longer I stay here, the less I like it. Makes my feathers stiff. Well, if that's how it has to be, why can't we use this time to check out what we've never seen before? We'll need to find a place to stay. Fortunately, we have the funds for it. Random cat. I hope Fubar will be all right. All right, well. Let's just go talk to people again now that we've realized we have to stay here. The end, maybe we have to go to the end. Hmm. Let's try it. We already found the end earlier. So, it's my understanding that um, Suikoden 3 here is the longest of the Suikodens. So we'll probably be playing it for a couple weeks. What's this here? Another character. What can I say? I saw nothing. I can't see what's not there. No way. My father is no liar. It's true. It's true. My five-man search party and I went to the north mount northern mountains but saw no sign of your father or this phantom ship. Have you seen it with your own eyes? I'm telling you, I'm saying that my father's no liar. I know what the problem is. He's scared. And you ran away because we would have uncovered the truth. It's in his blood, like father, like son. If you won't listen to me, then I'll go get proof of that ship. I'll show you. But wait, come back, Melville. Hm. Guess we're going to probably... Hitch a ride with that kid and take on a quest. So, change of plans. We're not going to the end. Let's go find Melville. I wonder if these guys will talk to me now. 
No, nah, they're still doing their performance. Mm, fair enough. If I was Melville, I probably would have run back towards the entrance. Or he could have run back to his friends in front of the government building. Let's check them first. And then we'll head back towards the entrance. Melville used to be over with those other two kids. Oh, looks like the other two kids are gone now. Maybe they've already come and gone. Head back towards the entrance. Hey, level one alt. How's it going, man? Right, let's head out the front. Maybe he's just out there. And I'll also, it's probably been long enough. We could go back to the duck village and turn in these lottery tickets that are taking up our inventory space. I'm not seeing the kid out here. Hmm. Haven't saved in a while. Alright, it doesn't like Melville came out here. Let's look for Melville in the city. I get the feeling that we're gonna hook up with Melville and then we'll probably have to leave the city together, so we might as well find him before we head out. Let's check over this way. This sort of looks like the direction he ran in. Ish. Um, so this is back where he was when he ran off. Maybe he went through his back way towards all the shops. him here. Late, Elliot. Alanis and Elliot. Okay. Sorry, Alanis. My mother said I couldn't play till I finished my bean soup, but it smelled so bad that I couldn't finish it. You know how sensitive my nose is. Hey, Alanis, you're mad just because of the soup? Not about that. What we decided yesterday, or did you forget? Huh? Oh, yeah. Alanis, Silver Maiden, and Sub-Captain of the St. Loa Knights, I apologize for coming late. Oh my lord. But, what's the bean soup's fault? Elliot, never mind. Let's go to the castle. You remember the password, right? Oh, here we're gonna figure out the password. That's probably where the other kid went. No problem. It's the Three Knights of Zexen. <laughs> See, I remember. Not that we need to say it if there's only two of us. Well, let's go. Now we know the night, the password. All right. We already know where they're going, so we'll follow after them. Huh, I wonder if this is related to the other kid. I mean, they were together before. Maybe the other kid will be here. Level one alt, how did you know my stream password? Oh, it's Melville. Hold on, I'm coming. Elliot, wait, the password. Ah, oh, right, Melville, do you remember the password? Elliot, we're not supposed to know it's Melville. The Three Knights of Zex. Right, I'll open the gates. 
<laughs> but what? Who are... You're not Melville. Who are you? If you came to take over our castle, we'll fight. You, you, you take over our castle? First, you'll have to defeat me, the Silver Maiden, and then the Swordsman of Wind, Elliot. Please tell me these are not real party members. I mean, I guess they are, but like, good lord. These kids do not look old enough to fight monsters. You want me to fight? Dude's scared. It'd be like putting Pillica in the party. I'll bet now you're having a second thoughts. The three knights of Zexen. Oh, there's Elliot. The three knights of Zexen. Alanis, Elliot, open the gates. Huh? Who is uh this guy? A new recruit? <laughs> you shouldn't go around saying your password on the street, man. Am I a Suikoden fan? Um, I am now. <laughs> I I liked Suikoden one when I played it a long time ago, but we just played Suikoden two for the first time the last couple weeks. We just finished it last night. Like we, we, we rolled credits on the end of Suikoden 2 like less than 24 hours ago. Wow, so you came from the grassland. Fantastic. The name of the clan is Kariah Clan. I'm here representing my clan. Is that a real weapon on your waist? It's no sword, but yes, it's real. Ooh. My father carried a sword, you know. Speaking of your father, in town you were arguing about him, right? My father is the greatest swordsman of Den Denal Road and... How big is the road? <laughs> and Zexan's greatest treasure hunter, right? Sure is, and he's my hero too. That's right, Alanis. Elliot... Many months ago, my father went into the northern mountains and he came back to say he'd found a ship. Then he left to return to that ship. I'll bet Melville's father found a ship full of treasure. Right, but he hasn't come back. Was it Gi Gi Giyame? I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. <laughs> Sent out a search party, but they didn't find him. Don't worry, Melville. He can take care of himself. He probably got carried away treasure hunting. That must be it. Don't believe what that dude says. He's a liar. I guess you're right. My father wouldn't lie to me. He just wouldn't. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't the St. Lowen Knights go to the Northern Mountains? We could find that ship, too. Are you crazy? Just the three of us? Alanis, my father always said bravery does not mean doing something dangerous. We can do it. The St. Louis Knights won't be alone. Now we have another soldier on our side. It, what, me? Uh, <laughs> uh, did I, did I sign up for this? I'm not, um, I mean, I guess, are you referring to me? <laughs> of course, who else is there? And who are the St. Louis Knights? Oh, we must introduce ourselves. I am the captain of the St. Louis Knights and the swordsman of rage, Melville. As you know already, I am the Silver Maiden Alanis. Like, I wish that Suikoden 4 or 5 weren't both prequels because it would be so cool to see these kids grown up and actually be swordsmen and shit, right? <laughs> But right now, it's a little sad. Elliot! Together, we are the three knights of Zexen, the St. Louis Knights. Yeah. Um. Well, there's nothing better to do. <laughs> I don't have anything better to do right now, so. Sure. Why not? Really? You'll come with us? 
I wouldn't want just the three of you to go alone. Great. We should get ready and leave soon. Um, I, um... We'll meet at the Sagal Gate to the city and as soon as possible, and... Hugo? And Hugo, you come as soon as possible, too. Don't keep us waiting. Here we go, the St. Louis Knights depart for adventure. Yeah, Konami put an end to it. Ugh. Like, I don't feel like Konami's gonna be remaking any of these anytime soon, either. But, on the upside, we're gonna be playing them on the stream, so there's that. We'll be doing Suikoden 3 all month, probably. And then... At the end of July, we're going to be doing Xenoblade Chronicles 3 when it comes out on like July 29th. And whenever I don't have any idea how long that'll be, Xenoblade Chronicle games tend to be pretty long. But when we get through Xenoblade Chronicles 3, we're also going to be doing Suikoden 4, Suikoden Tactics, and Suikoden 5. And after that, who knows? Um, I had thought about doing like the uh, Legend of Heroes games because I haven't done any of those yet. Like Trails in the Sky, Trails of Cold Steel. That's a lot of games, but I hear they're worth it. But um, we're not gonna make that decision until we get through Suikoden, so. For now, it's Suikoden 3, Xenoblade Chronicles 3, Suikoden 4, this is annoying. So what happens here is like, you're going to the left, right? And you go into here and then the camera flips around and then like, if you let go at all, going it, it, it puts you back the other way. Anyways. Um, let's go find these kids and then I guess we'll go explore to the north in the mountains for their dad. But before we do that, we need to take a uh, detour. We're going to have a field trip <laughs> and go, um, go back to the duck village and turn in all these, uh, lottery cards we got, make ourselves another stack of cash. And then maybe not buy any more lottery there, but come buy the lottery here. Because it'll be more accessible in the meantime. A bit of a walk to get to the Doug Village now. He's here. He made it over here. Thanks for coming. This will be great. Duke Hugo of Karaya. Welcome to the St. Loa Knights. Duke Hugo of Karaya? Yes, you came from Karaya as a representative, right? So Duke is about your rank. I, I think that's fair. We're off to the northern mountains to find the ship and... and... and we'll help Melville's father too. We will. Right. Yes, so let's go. I want to be like, and my father's body. <laughs> All right. Wow. These kids are actually joining the party. Holy crap. Level six, level five. Where's the other kid? Only two of them are joining the party. Well, we don't want to put them by themselves. Let's um put Alanis with Sergeant Joe, Melville with Hugo and have Lulu. Lulu can hold his own. And that other kid, he's not helping. Oh yeah, he's he's a he's a guest. He's a guest character. Merchant hunter? Looking for Satan's ship? Wait, Satan's ship? Is that a spoiler? Like what the hell? <laughs> what is this ship we're looking for now again? You guys didn't mention Satan. Excuse me. Boy living in Vin Vine del Zexe who formed a Saint. Yeah, okay, that doesn't say anything. Yeah, nothing special there. But Elliot over here apparently is looking for Satan's ship. <laughs> Fair enough. Um. I get the feeling this boat that we're looking for is going to be a bigger problem than I originally anticipated. 
we're we're taking we're taking kids to look for Satan's ship. I mean, hell, we're a kid ourselves. We're like what, fifteen? Hugo can't like if like I don't think um Hugo's mom didn't have kids in Suikoden too, right? And this is only like fifteen years later, so he can't be much older. Let me see if the guy actually says how old he is. I got the the uh, manual here that came with the game. Main characters. Let's see if it says his age. Young but skillful writer known to cross vast prairies of grassland. It doesn't say his name. It doesn't say his age, I mean. Um, do I think arranging my party differently would do anything? It would definitely do something. Yeah. For sure. I mean, arranging my party, I mean, changing what the groups are is certainly going to be different. So Northern Cavern is where we got to go for that, but we're going to head all the way over here to Duck Village real quick to turn in these, um, turn in these, uh, lottery tickets because they're taking up a huge chunk of our inventory. Wait, Hugo, wait, isn't this the wrong way? You guys will level up on the way. We'll get money to equip you. It's a good plan. No, this can't be right. They're not going to let me go the other way. Yes, I, I certainly don't smell any mountains up ahead. They're not going to let me go back. Oh, these kids. Never mind, I guess. We're going to North Cavern. Oh, you're saying those two might have a combo together or something. Oh, that's an interesting thought. Maybe... Maybe something like that. I just worry about having such a weak group, you know? Like, if they get attacked, they have, like, no HP. But, I mean, hopefully they'll level quickly. Surprised I didn't pick up the bird. Oh, can we pick up the bird? Is that a choice? It seems like it would be a good idea. Like, Hugo has to be, like, 14 years old or something at this point, right? Because, like, this game's 15 years after. And Lucia wasn't even pregnant that we know of in Suikoden 2. So, like, 15 max. Yeah, I don't think we can pick up the bird. Um... Bubar is going to have to wait it out, I guess. This must be it. I even detect the scent of water. Where's there's where there's water, there's a ship. Let's go in. Right. Here we go, everyone. Uh, but there's, well, what's the matter? It's too late to be scared now. Who said I was scared? Here I go. Actually, I'm a little, uh, I'm sort of scared too, sort of. Oh, Elliot, what kind of knight is afraid of tunnels? Be brave and follow me. Yeah, come on, dude. We might not, we might as well go in too. It's not often we have the chance to serve as knight's attendants. <laughs> knights, you mean these tiny iron heads? Well, okay, since it's for the children. I thought their imagination in games would appeal to one of your age, Lulu. Who asked you? Besides, I can dream up better stuff than this. I'm sure you can. So we don't seem to really think there's any danger here. I assume that there will be. 
because you know jrpg <laughs> of course there is doo, 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 doo. i can't believe they wouldn't let me go back and turn in my lottery tickets they would have leveled up in the process i'm just saying I'm exhausted. Will you be okay, Elliot? How much longer? We've been walking forever. Knight Elliot, if your horse were to collapse, you would have to walk great distances. Yes, but, but that's different. Don't be so hard on him, Melville. But if a knight can't walk... There's no sense in arguing. We've come a long way. Let's stop here. For once, I agree. Aw, oh, who would have thought ducks talk so much in their sleep? <laughs> Can you sleep? Can't you sleep? Oh, me? I get, I'll get. i get to sleep soon. Melville, the tireless walker, fell asleep first, that boy. Even knights get tired. I guess we do. Alanis, why do you want to find the ship so much? And that fire is raging. Huh? I could be wrong, but you seem more anxious than Melville to find it. Like, seriously, like, you guys, like, really overfueled that fire. I think it's gonna burn itself out so quick. Oh, well, maybe I do. Th there is a reason. What's the reason? Pretty soon I'll have to say goodbye. I have to leave Vene del Zexe. My father's a trade merchant, so I've never had a chance to settle down and make friends. My father planned to leave after half a year, that's soon. Meanwhile, I've made friends with Melville and Elliot. I look outside and see groups of children playing. I've never been able to do that until now. That's why... Oh, I see. Get up, Lulu. Lulu, wake up! Surrounded by iron heads. Aw, oh, tell them to come back later. <laughs> come on, even the Zexans are awake. I know, Mama, I know. Zexan Ironhead, kids. Mama? Quack. <laughs> yeah. Lulu? We gotta like we walk up or do we go down here? What is this over here? Mr. Camera, do you want to cooperate? No? Alright. So is this where we came in? And I guess we want to go to the top, probably. Dum, 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 dum. Are there any fights in here at all? Maybe there aren't because the kids are so weak. Maybe that's why it wouldn't let us go back to the duck village because like the kids aren't supposed to be in any fights or, you know, I don't know. It's just an abandoned dun like cave with no, no monsters in it. What kind of JRPG is this? Mr. Monster. Oh, 
who are you guys? Bandits. Oh, hey, get back to work, you lazy bunch of little jerks. Treasure left can, about can be in, can incite the boss to beat me day and night. Yes, we know, we understand. Even your rhymes built of even your rhymes built of sand, but repeat the orders too much not drives us mad. We pray you to stop. Are we really gonna talk in rhyme now? Here we are, treasure seekers, craving profits make us weaker. While we're hungry for some grub, a massage, now that we'd love. They're gonna rhyme. They're, 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 they're rhyming. Okay. Who are these people? These people are, what'd you call, um, an unfortunate impediment to our quick return. M -m -m Melville, home now, please. Calm down, Elliot. Will the St. Loa Knights run away from a few lousy bandits? Right, right. We can't run now. Mm, look, they're going inside. The they're rhyming bandits, guys. Let's follow them. What about it, Hugo? Should we three go in, too? Uh... It's better if we go in too. Yeah. Besides, I can't say no. They made me a duke. <laughs> Worried about court marshalling? Fine, we'll all go in. But if it gets any more dangerous, we must retreat right away. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Duck. Quack. Oh, that's where we just came from. We need to go down this time, yeah? This is like literally the same map almost. Except now we're going down. Can we just go off the side? Shortcut! <laughs> Still no fights. Even more bandits about. Oh. Oh, oh, oh there we go. Cut. The halt! You shall not pass, or we will kick your ass. <laughs> uh, rhyming jokes are funny. All right. Um, let's. See. You two don't have any special moves. Madness. All right, kill that guy. Lulu, you can, you can hit the other guy. Melville and Alanis, you have a combo attack. The child combo attack. Damage one foe, Alanis becomes unbalanced. Do it. Here they go. The Moa Knights. Oh my God. <laughs> They just flail. <laughs> nice dodge. Nice. Alright, Lannis is stunned because she did the, the night attack. So, just attack. They should level up from this, right? I mean, like, they're so low level. Heal you them. Level, level, level. Nice. Yeah, they're, they're gonna power up really fast. Yay, so we can end leveling system. Oh my, I don't believe what just happened. I suddenly know how to fight. Oh, uh, not, not you, actually. You, you didn't help. But me too. How are the bandits, Sergeant? The ropes are secured. They'll be unconscious for some time. Now let's get in there. There's a ship somewhere waiting to be found, right? R right. Yeah, there has to be. Melville's father isn't a liar, and I'm going to help prove that. Me too. The St. Loanites together. Right. 
Is that a save point along the way? Yes, it is. I wonder if that means there's a boss here. Oh, more bandits. Wait. Another attack. Another attack. Child attack. <laughs> That's the best attack ever. Oh my god, they do damage now, too. 142, holy crap. They did more damage than the main character with that. It unbalances one of them, but still, holy crap. I haven't even leveled up their weapons. All right, they're up to level 12 now. They got a bunch of skill points too, didn't they? So maybe skill points scale with your level too. What do their weapons look like? Are they gonna be permanent party members? Like in the long run? Level three and level two. So their weapons could be upgraded a lot. He's got fire and water magic skill. He's got accuracy, damage, and repel, but they're all crap. I mean, they need to be leveled up. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and save you. Yeah. Kids aren't actually that bad. I mean, probably need to heal them, though. Like before she had 31 health and he had 49. What do they have now? 92 and 67. So they're, they're getting healed as they level, it looks like. Or they, they get the missing HP up. All right. They gain max and current at the same time, it looks like. But they're still in the double digit HP, even in double digit levels. Look, light from outside, and I can hear water. You mean we found the ship? Ho 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 ho! Welcome! Oh, this dude knew all along. Working with the bandits. Did a cage? He dropped a cage. Of course he did. Oh, or a portcullis. We're locked out. Why did we let the kids go in first by themselves? That man from Zexon City. Guillaume? Guillaume? I don't know. Whatever. Bad, bad children. I told you not to go to the mountains. But why are you here? Do you really want to know? Should I tell you? Well, now. I know why. You're the liar. You lied about Melville's father when you called him a liar. Oh, that's right. But, wh but why? The reason is most simple. I did not want anyone to learn of this place. This place where I store my riches. Your riches? Yes, mine, all mine. Sometimes I sell a few of my valuables at my store or at the market. Then when the buyer leaves Vinay del Zexe, my bandits strike and return the bounty to me here. It's the perfect scheme. We know what each victim will be carrying because they bought it from me. You, you vicious thief. And so you've kept this place a secret? Naturally. This place is just far enough from Vinay del Zexe the knights, and the Knight's Fort that I've never worried about anyone else finding it. That is until Melville's father spoke up about his discovery. Monster. For that evil plan, you... And I was just thinking of moving when you started to give me trouble. Hey, it's about time you lazy bandits got here. Oi, there's strange ones. You'll pay for what you've done. Think you can win the fox's den? Prepare to punishment as men. How much time do they spend practicing their rhyming, I wonder? Show no mercy. All right, we only got two groups. Um, and they've got two groups. But they count as separate people. Okay. Um... We can use Wind of Sleep to hit all of them. 
That might be good. To start off with. Okay, hit him before the spell goes off. Hitting him while he's trying to cast the spell. Oh, they interrupted the spell. Okay, you know what? Screw that. Let's just kill them. Oh, they stunned Lulu, too. And we are, like, super powered up. It's... Not even fair. Oh, ouch. Even lions are known to flee if danger's reward comes uneasily. Remember that before you challenge carrion fighters. Or a veteran duck fighter. Oi, lousy bandits. At least I have some very valuable hostages over here. We got a trident? Uh, 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 Melville! I can defend us. I'll make him pay. You can do it, Melville. Captain of the St. Louis Knights and Swordsman of Rage. Prepare to meet your maker, old man. Old man? Well, we'll see if the boy's blade is as sharp as your tongue. Night child, let the match begin. Oh, they actually have the kids fight him by themselves. We should have leveled the kids up a little more, huh? Oh, it's one-on-one. -on -one. Is this a duel? We're having a duel. Interesting. I suppose I'll finish this in no time at all. Let's start with this. All right, so I wonder if this works the same way as it did in um the other one where like what they say gives you a hint. He just says, we'll start with this. I'm thinking that's just regular attack. So, oh, it's called death blow now. Let's do, let's do a death blow. We both did death blow. Okay. Unfortunate. Oh shit. He just took the kid out. Holy crap. He just dropped the kid. Uh oh. Oh, it appears I've beaten a knight. Now, how shall I finish this? He's so proud of himself for killing a kid. You know, like... The kid didn't stand a chance. Hey, pig face. Oh, we got through the gate. Huh? 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 Oi! Oh, they opened the gate. Money blind fool! <laughs> you got what, what when did but how every knight knows how to work a lever so you'd be punished as a man or a child help save me hey stop thief lulu let us first let us see to melville first yeah he's not dead is he Melville, Melville, can you speak? I can speak. I hear church bells in my head, but I think I'll be okay. I, I'm sorry. I lost. I thought I could protect you, but you all protected me. What are you saying, Melville? You did protect us and me. Sh she's right. Melville, you're a hero. You even made me feel less scared. This is a victory for the three of us. The St. Louis Knights, victory. Yeah, now Swordsman of Rage and Knight Captain Melville, it's time to go find that ship. Nice. What a beautiful view. Melville, look. There's your ship. 
I can hardly believe it. Melville, it's true, just like your father said. This is like the Goonies or something. Yeah, just like he said. We'll walk proudly into Vinay, Vinay del Zexe and tell everyone about this ship. Yeah, the worst part was doubting my own father. I knew he was telling the truth. I knew it, but it started to sound, well, not so true. What a relief. A broken down building over there, too. Hey, you know, he wouldn't do that. He's your father. True, true. And a great treasure hunter, too. I guess. Next time, don't guess. Everybody laughs. I guess he wasn't so mortally wounded at all. He just, like, fell over. I don't know. That guy failed to kill a kid and then gloated about it. Did we just let him get away? I guess he got away. Hopefully we'll find him later. We should get you three back. Your families must be worried. Probably. At first, they'll be too angry to listen to your story. Wise words from such a young one. Let's be off. No medical today's fine. It is but a scratch. So, was there nothing else in there? I guess not. It lets me go back in, though. Hmm. I wonder if we can go back to, um... Ooh, people need to heal. There's a lot of bandits, too. I wonder if we can go back to, um... Well, Melville and Alanis aren't together anymore. I was saying, I wonder if we can go back to the uh, the ducks duck village yet to turn in those lottery tickets. I we have to go turn the kids in first, maybe. kids level up. Kids are almost caught up with everybody else. I want to see that child combo again. And then I guess we can um go turn the kids in and probably go see about our lottery tickets, maybe some more weapon upgrades. I mean, if, if the kids are going to leave the party, we're not going to weapon upgrade them. But if they're going to stay in the party, we should, right? The encounter rate's really low on here, which is usually a good thing.
Here it goes. Best attack ever. They took out a bandit with it, too. Only stunned Hugo. triple digit HP now. Alright, there's probably not much reason to level these guys up right now. Um, so let's head back towards turning in our duck lotto tickets. And maybe spend some of these skill points. We can probably spend them we don't have to go all the way back to the old town. We can spend them at um the uh what was the name of that place? The fort? Uh Brass Castle. Get one more fight in the wolf. I'm liking the combat system so far. It seems like an upgrade from two. Go this way now. I wish there was a faster way to go through these areas, but I guess we have to wait till we get teleport later. Like at first, I was like, oh, there's no like w overland travel, so getting around should be faster in this game. And then I realized that meant you had to go through these like intermediary screens. I was like, is it going to be slower? Because of the way the camera is constantly like turning with the road, like I'm just holding right, but I'm making all these like turns, and then every now and then I do have to actually turn, but like the camera's constantly like reorienting me. Alright. So we can spend some of our points here, but we can spend them on the way back though. We're gonna have to come back through here. I was going to go spend these lottery tickets and then, like, not come back to the Duck Village ever again because this is such a long walk. Shops. 
I can definitely see the benefit of increasing your skill and magic to make it cast faster now that we know that while you're charging up the spell, they can actually interrupt it. So the longer you take the cast, the more susceptible you are to interruption. It's actually kind of a big deal. Good to get continual attack on him too. Yeah, you, said, you don't. You don't teach that here. Or maybe Hugo can't learn that. I'm not sure. You plus damage. We can't really upgrade his stuff anymore for now. Um, everything's a B. Man, so uh, this is definitely gonna be a long game, huh? We're we're like still in the first chapter of the first character, right? Nice. I'm ready to like settle in for the long haul on this one, huh? curious if the holy the holy skill can make you run faster outside of combat because it might be really useful especially like getting through these screens Relic, I don't know what to call it. I think it's antique. start selling these medicines that we keep finding. I 
A war bounty? What's that about? Hmm. Let me just let them go. These guys aren't worth that much. One more screen to work our way through and we can get this lottery ticket thing going. I wonder if there's any other kind of rare drops off these enemies though too. Like, if you think about it, like, some of our best stuff in the entire game in Suikoden 2 dropped off of l early game low-level enemies. Like, um, the Technique Rune that we stole hundreds of thousands of Potch with came off of a super early game enemy as a rare drop. The Double Beat Runes that we used to do way more damage than we necessarily would have had at that point. We got his random drops off of enemies in a very early area. They're like, you never know, right? right? There's no way the lottery isn't ready at this point. It's been like over an hour, right? Let's just save. It's been like two hours since we bought the lottery tickets. Certainly should be ready now. All right, let's see how we do on our first try. Yeah, there's already been another one after that even. at least the 3,000. Any better than that. <sighs> Another seven. The one off from the next one up. Oh, 83. That's 100,000. Boom. Dude, the lottery makes you money so fast. I mean, not fast, fast, because it actually takes time, but, like, it, it's a pretty steady winner. Okay. Um, throw away the non-winning ones. And let's go ahead and cash in. that we got a ton of money again now i am not gonna buy a lottery ticket here again because this is just a long walk didn't even need to save scum like that's wow we're lottery is easy to make money with huh the odds are in your favor for sure
So I guess now we head back to um the capital city. should use the child attack does way more damage than attacking separately. be a more serious condition in the uh team up got it um way everything works now i don't know through this town. If it wasn't like a hundred thousand potch, I probably wouldn't have wasted time walking all the way back here, but that's a lot of money. I don't say I wonder how much farther into the game before we can teleport, but probably a while. And the crazy thing is, there are three main characters. We haven't even started the other two. So we're going to get to some point on this one and it's just going to like pause the story and we'll have to switch over to one of the other two and start building them up from scratch. Or skill points. bought everything we need for the moment. Gotta get through the forest and then um we'll be back over there. if we're going to finish Hugo's first chapter tonight. You hope I run into or hear about Jowie and the main character from three, from two? I hope so too. At the end of the story, they kind of like went off together to go adventuring, so they could definitely show up in this one. Easily. Although we never really saw... McDowell in um 
We get in two. We went back to his country, but he wasn't the one in charge of it. President Lapont was there. We went to his house, but we didn't see him. And maybe because I didn't load the Suikoden in one save file, though, you know. I also didn't load the Suikoden in two save file, so. I get for playing without a guide, I guess. <laughs> it's okay. If that was a thing I could have done, I'm surprised no one said anything because you guys are helping me with so many other things. So we get the kids back to town and then I guess we can check back at the government building to see if we can get our meeting yet. I don't know how many time, much time has gone by. We'll walk you home, but first let's say our goodbyes here. Thank you for everything. Thank you, Hugo, Lulu, and you too, Mr. Duck. <laughs> Poor Joe. Speaking to after the Torn Liberation Army defeated the Scarlet Moon Empire, Tyr McDowell left without taking a position. Oh my God. Shadow Koken, why are you posting these walls of text, man? Um, in traveling servant Grimio, he found by Rio. That's the main character in two, right? Small fishing village, a banner wishing to meet him. Rio is talked into an elaborate scenario by a young child, Ko, which tends to be captured by bandits to get their attention to Tears Guardian. Yeah, none of that happened. He wasn't in banner. I'm going to assume that you have to load in a so we get in one save file to get that to happen. Because there's, like, McDowell was definitely in Grimio, we're not in Banner. So, maybe you have to load in a so we get in one save file to do that. Yeah. Goodbyes again. Well, I hope you get back to Grassland safely. I'm honest, when you do, when do you leave here? Huh? You have to leave because of your father, right? You knew? Well, we found out. Why didn't you tell us? I, I'm so sorry. I, I was too sad for me to think about. How could you be sad, brave silver maiden Alanis? Melville. Don't worry, Alanis. The St. Loa Knights are immortal. Whenever each of us, wherever each of us goes, the strength of the others goes too. Friends forever. Right? Melville, thanks. That's how I see it too. Saint Loa Knights, Swordsman of Wind, Elliot. Saint Loa Knights, Captain and Swordsman of Rage, Melville. Right. Saint Loa Knights, Sub Captain and Silver Maiden, Alanis. Together we are. The Saint Loa Knights. The three knights of Zexen. 
You always see these kids when they're growing up. Thanks, Melville. Thanks, Elliot. We'll be best friends always. Forever. But someday you'll come back, right? When you do, I'll be eating beans much faster. I'll look forward to it. Now, I, I'm so happy. I, I didn't think I'd ever have friends as good as you. I'll never be lonely again. Elliot has left your party. Melville has left. Alanis has left. Right. Hmm. Convincing their parents that we were not kidnappers was harder than on the adventure itself. Yeah, but it turned out fine in the end. Those three sure are close friends. I'm glad that we were like that too. Yes, me too. <laughs> uh, I mean, I wouldn't say we're exactly like that. But... All right. Um, I guess let's go try and um see if we can get our meeting with the uh, government yet. So these guys are still doing their busking. I'll leave them to it. Oh, those two are hanging out over here still. Maybe I should... Where was, wasn't there... There was a lottery here too. Maybe we should go ahead and buy tickets for that. Only leveled up to seven. But didn't they say so? we, we had some hints about the trade thing here too, right? This place was known for its antler trade or something. How much stuff costs? We can go rumors too. The deer antlers. He has three of them. Crystal balls are super cheap, too. Ancient text still cost a lot. All right, let's see if we can make this thing work for us. That's cheap. What are the rumors? Tell you something for 100 potch, okay? Thanks to the latest... Chisha Village Grape Harvest, wine is plentiful. It means you probably don't want to buy wine. Is everybody's going to have it already? Maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, a gold bar sells for a lot. Okay. I don't know. I'm still bad at trade shops. <laughs> find out when we get to the next city, I guess. I don't want to fill up my inventory with that too much. I don't know if we're staying here or not. That's the thing about it. Like, it takes so long for the lottery to come back. I'm, like, scared to buy tickets because it's going to be, like, a half hour to an hour before we can actually get the result. We might not be at this town anymore. Because it just takes up so much of your inventory. We don't even have enough room to buy 10 of them right now. We're going to have to sell some stuff. Let's see if we can go get our meeting yet. Like, if we get to a new city for the first time, it's like, yeah, let's buy lottery tickets. But, like, when we might be about to be leaving, it seems like a bad idea. We don't want to end up with another duck situation. Only those with prior invitations are provided entrance. Huh? Not again. How can he treat us like this? Ours is not to reason why. Let's not waste our energy on anything except finding a place to stay. Right, so we still can't get in here. Hmm. 
Maybe we need to stay at the end to like advance it somehow. to advance it. I guess we shouldn't complain the food could be a lot worse, but a lot better too, with more scrumptious Korean spices. I suppose the best we can do now is to head back to the council building. Lulu, be brave, even though I know you miss your mother. Who asked you? <laughs> Don't get feisty, young man. Hope we needn't worry about Fubar's behavior like I do yours. Hey, we still haven't gotten Fubar back. All right, so when we saved, it was at like 4.15. If it is every 30 minutes, and if it is on the 30 minute mark, then it might now might not be a bad time to get a lottery ticket if it's only like a 15 minute wait. And we're about to start something over here at the thing. So I'm gonna buy some tickets. What's the worst that could happen? I'll answer that. All right. Um. Yo. All right. Let's, we filled up our bag. But theoretically, hopefully, the lottery will take over in like fifteen minutes. Hopefully we don't need any inventory space at the moment. Can't believe how big this place is. I wonder how many councils it holds. <laughs> how many councils? You think this is big? The Lizard Clan cave is large enough to hold 10 of these. I've been informed that you are indeed expected here. About time. They await you within. You may enter. Nice. Great, now we have to wait inside instead. Big deal. I tried to warn you, officials do a lot of things to make themselves seem more important. Quite annoying. So sorry to have kept you waiting. Okay. I represent the Zexan Council. I'll be responsible for delivering your message. Representative? Yes, a representative. I am the son of the Karayan clan chief. I must deliver an official message to the Zexan Council head. No one else. Perhaps it is difficult for you to appreciate the time constraints on the council. We deal with many people from outside our vast realm. We have very we have little patience for that which disrupts normalcy. How dare you show us such disrespect? It was Grassland's protection that allowed Zexan to peddle its goods as far away as Jalston. Need I remind you that we shared our profits with the Grasslands? Perhaps you desire more. Impudent.
Now then, if you'll please give the message to me. Fine, whatever. Here it is. Consider the message received. I cannot spare further time and must bid you farewell. These guys are totally just like not taking us seriously. If only Jimbo were here to see these iron heads. We did our best delivering the message. It's important to explain what happened to Lucia. I'm ready to go back now. Agreed. I've seen enough Zex and rudeness to last me forever. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll get out of here. See you later, guys. Let's, uh, get home. We're done here. Message delivered. Let's get our boo bar back. Hugo, the best we can do now is return to the inn and get ready to head back to Grassland. Wait, what? Why do you need to go back to the inn? All right. Well, I'm ready to return now, but I guess we gotta go stay at the inn again for reasons. So far, the story of this one seems good. But the pacing of Sweeken and Two was way better. This one's definitely taking its time. Like nothing's really happened yet, you know. Another cutscene. Ironhead seems too grand a term for some of the Zexans we've met. Yeah, who do they think they are making us wait all that time and still treating us like intruders? I expected much different treatment for sure, but there are still some decent Zexans out there. I guess the people we met on the streets seem nicer, except for all that staring. Now we can go back. I can't wait to get back. Soon, Lulu. There's got to be something fun to do while we're here. Too bad people aren't more cooperative. Grassland's advantages are now clear to us. Don't forget them. I say we leave it to crack of dawn. <laughs> huh? That noise. Soldiers? Are they coming for us? Why? Oh shit. Are we about to start a war, guys? It's two children and a duck. Be careful, it doesn't take much to get a grassy's ire up. Two men and round back now. Name's Leo. <laughs> That's my son's name. Hmm. 
Yeah, we, I don't really know what was in the letter, but I assume it wasn't bad. I mean, our mom gave it to us to deliver. What's going on here? Yeah, it was Lucia, so I mean, she's not doing anything evil. Percival. Forgive our intrusion, innkeeper. We have orders to detain the three grasslanders here. Lots of new characters being introduced. I had no idea there were criminals. It's so hard to know who to rent to these days. The spikes on this guy's shoulders. It's not what you think. We just need to ask them a few questions. Oh, so they're not arresting us? Follow me. What do they need to ask us, though? So aggressively. Hey, Dorchette. Welcome to the stream. How did we leave? <laughs> we jumped out the window. <laughs> you missed me, Leo. <laughs> They're on the run. After them. You don't have to shout, you know, I'm not deaf. Woo. What's going on here? No idea, but if you ask me, Ironheads in full battle gear aren't here to apologize. Run! That's fair. If they're not trying to make us scared of them, then they are approaching in, in a weird way. Stop! They'll catch us if we go that way. Head to the gates. I'm trying to head. I guess I gotta go west. I was gonna head like north in like faster way to go, but okay. There they are. You three, halt! Now what? Somehow, I don't think they're here to chat. No, probably not. Lulu on guard. I mean, they're drawing their weapons. Zexan infantry. Zex and Knight. They love their like abbreviations in this game. Like look at the names of these units. Well, the infantry got in the way of the knight so we couldn't hit him. Interesting. Aren't any infantry left now though? but we're fine. You know, we're carrying a bunch of medicine. Let's use some of it. Right, I guess we, we just need to run out of town, right? Go get Fubar back. Don't think Fubar is a crazy... Name for your griffin. Shit. Shit.
Have you ever tried? Um, you ever tried the last remnant before Shadow Konako? It's not like the game you're talking about, but I mean, it's something. Discard and then reclaim. Probably just worth more money than a medicine. I know it's not similar. I, I don't know of another game with that particular combat style for sure. I know of other games where you move around the map claiming points with your different heroes and build up units and everything. I mean, from like Heroes of Might and Magic up to like uh, Total War, you know? But um, they have a different battle system, obviously. Heroes of Might and Magic have like a tur like a like a grid based tactical battle system sort of, and then Total War has got a more like an RTS kind of battle system, but like army unit based in like singular battles. I guess from Grasslands we must have a little talk. You've proven our troops need more training, but we'll skip that for now and get straight to what you have to say. You should be the ones explaining. We're not going anywhere with you unless you tell us what's going on. Right. We've gotten word that while pretending to engage in treaty negotiations, Grasslanders launched a sneak attack against us. How do we know you're not here to further trick us? Oh. Okay, so once again, a peace treaty that goes south and starts a war. Okay. Why would we do want to trick you. We represent the most honorable Lucia, chief of the Karian clan. Nor would the Duck clan wage war as you claim. Grassland forces have our knights surrounded. You're our hostages. If you truly are the Karian clan chief's son, they dare not chance hurting you. You're worth more in exchange. Now come with us. No reason to believe you. <laughs> That's probably the best answer. Believe what you will. You're still taught. We're still taking you with us. Oh, incoming Fubar! <laughs> nice. Run! Halt! Yeah, didn't expect my Griffin. All of them, hurry! Yes, sir. All right, let's um, put Fubar back with Hugo. Go back to the way we were at the beginning of the game. All right, I guess we were making a run for it back home. Looks like we lost them. That is what Fubar stands for, yes. But we're still on Zex and land. Stay sharp. Thanks to Fubar, we made it. Yeah, thanks. How did you find us? Were you looking for us? I bet he was looking for food, not us. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, already, Fubar. He pissed him off. <laughs> Let's get a move on. What if those knights said is? What if what those knights says is true? 
If it is, we may already be at war again. So what? I'm not afraid of any iron head. <laughs> okay. Work our way back through the forest. Although that's just going to bring us to the brass castle where like another iron head stronghold. But maybe they don't know that we're fleeing over there yet. Although, if we're really back at war with them, they probably would know that. They would have probably known before the capital. Oh well, figure it out when we get there. Ooh, holy scrub, scrubs. <laughs> we do so much damage when we're on the Griffin. You're seeing a pattern. What are you with the broken peace treaties? I'm not sure it's the same this time. We'll find out though. The other thing is we're not going to just be playing Hugo here. We're playing three different main characters. So I don't know anything about the third one, but the next one we're playing is Chris. And Chris is a... Chris is a, um, an iron head. He's one of the, one of the knights for the enemy here. So we're going to be playing on both sides of this conflict. If we've actually already met our second character during our first character's story. It would be kind of interesting to play the game, like, just do like Hugo, 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 just like keep doing the same character and go all the way through their story and then go back and see it from another person's point of view. But I was told that I probably shouldn't do that because um, it'll spoil things, right? So we're gonna try and limit the amount of spoilers for the other storylines that we get, you know what I mean? by trying to do them all sort of in lockstep. So, so much for trying to sell those lottery tickets, right? We're not going to be able to get back into the town. I might as well throw them away. They're probably just a waste of money. If we can't manage to get all of the 108 stars... I might see myself playing this one again later, but I don't, probably not back to back. I don't know, it depends. Probably not back to back, especially right now because Xenoblade Chronicles is coming out. But we're going to do our best to get as many as we can the first time through. Maybe we'll get lucky like we did with Suikin 2. With your guys' help, we can get them all on the first try. As it's going right now, I don't know how much longer Hugo's first chapter is, but we've already been playing almost five hours. <laughs> So maybe this is a good place to stop for tonight. Um, I was trying to get through Hugo's first chapter tonight, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. But we've already seen a lot of interesting things happening in the story. I'm really excited to play Chris next because we've kind of seen that Chris is a knight for um, Zexan. So... That's going to give us a really different outlook on what's going on here. So, um, yeah. Uh, the plan right now is uh, we pick back up with that. Now, tomorrow night, I am running 
a game uh I'm running a tabletop RPG. So I'm not sure what my schedule is going to be like. It's not going to be the normal eight to midnight kind of deal, but I'm probably going to try and sneak in a stream at some point tomorrow. So pay attention to discord or Twitch, you know, can tell you if you follow me when that's going to be. And then Friday night, we'll have the regular stream. Um, and Saturday we'll stream. So we're just going to keep playing this weekend too. So come by for that. I'm going to call it a night here though. For now, seems like a pretty good place to stop. If I keep going, the story's just going to keep going. So, um, thanks for watching guys. I'm glad you could join me for the beginning of this weekend in three. And I hope you can join me for the rest of this ride as we go through it. But for now, I'm going to call it a night. So if there's anybody we want to raid tonight, I don't know if anybody I know is on right now. Um, what is Lodi playing? Daikaiju Monogatari. Oh, let's check this out. All right. We're gonna we're gonna raid over to Lodi and see what he's up to tonight. So say hi to him for me. Until next time. Good night, guys. Bye bye.